Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to my friendly neighborhood. This is the latest entry into the mascot horror genre. Now, if you've been following this genre, you know that there have been plenty of stinkers that have released recently. However, I have heard and have been told by many people that this one is incredible. So I'm excited to see finally an actual good mascot horror game. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna be playing the whole game in one sitting. So I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Now let's hop into the game. Let's go. I saw something. Hi there. I saw something. something. Maybe. It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost. It was an intro? Walking through this dark tunnel. And the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. Felt like I was dying. Excuse me? What? <laughs> We're just watching television. Out of his lane, striking a passenger. What the hell was that all about? <laughs> Why is the guy eat a giant hamburger? We'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city tomorrow night. Uh oh. MFN, my friendly neighborhood. So it's kind of like I Sesame Street, basically. That's the idea. Sense of of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just. I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. <laughs> what the fuck is going on on this television? Who is watching? What kind of psycho has the remote right now? Oh, Give actually, it to me. What did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. Let's go. What is happening? I like it. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, I like it. What an intro. I don't know what that was all about, but different style than anything I've really ever seen. I wonder if that's going to be related to what we're playing here. They're going to be traumatized. Select difficulty. An easy. Okay, let's see. We're going to play. Let's just do normal difficulty because I don't okay. try, tend to play these for nice the challenge. I just tend to play them for the experience. What's this one about? Description of the problem. What are we doing here? Be Sprocket Palm Property Management, Client City Network Broadcasting Group. The description of the problem. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal, over top normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. Interesting and hijacking, maybe? Uh, supervisor signature J. Note, Crewman O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily uh, complete this work order will result in termination. Okay, so it's all or nothing for us here. Uh, oh, all right, we have arrived. I would like to check. Do we have anything in this? We got Choco Pops. Oh, I'm not eating that. That's been there for days. Why don't you clean it up then, you idiot? <laughs> I can actually operate the car, okay. I'm not leaving yet. I just got here. I can't get a special ending by just leaving immediately. Alkalate, thank you for the 22. Thank you, guys. Damn. The last job of the day is always the worst. <laughs> so the, the demo of this game was incredible. I really enjoyed the demo. Uh, this game came out, like, very recently, but it's been taking YouTube by storm. Hi there. You're missing an eyeball, or you just don't have a second eyeball? Which I'm not judging here. Let's check over here before we go into the main building. Let me guess. We're going to have to go here anyway to get a key. Because the main building is always going to be locked. These cars are... <laughs> I love how cartoonish everything is. Uh, can we go into this room? It's locked. There's a key card reader. All right. Never mind. I was wrong. We are actually going to go into the main office. I'm assuming it's going to be like kind of open world-ish as well. And I also assume that they're hiding some big secrets here. And that it's not nothing is gonna be as it seems at least at the start. Maybe it still works. Everything looks so clean in here. What a nice building. I like the exact floor I have in my kitchen. What the fuck? <laughs> Am I in my kitchen? What on earth? Is uh, this glue? Who spit all over that? Ring me. Ring me. Okay. 
Okay. Ding, ding. And we got some hairy hands. I just got one. <laughs> Grace, thank you for the biddies. Raise the curtain. Oh, yeah, Bring this guy. The, lights. <laughs> the neighborhood is coming to town. Uh. Hello, I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. Who's in this machine? Okay. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Yes. Uh -oh. They're gonna fight oh me. Oh my! No! 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 You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. This is pretty cursed. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? <laughs> no! No! Trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what. You wait here, and I'll, <clears throat> and I'll uh, I'll get, I'll get you some. He's <laughs> puking. Thank you for the key guard. Oh, that wasn't pleasant. I love the voice acting. That's so well done. Um, okay then. <laughs> and we got some, we got a deep voice. We're like Batman. Uh, thank you for the key card. I'll take it. Let me guess. Now we're going outside. This is all connected. Hello? That was... Special. Can I jump over and get all these keys? Just steal everything? Uh, concessions. I would like one of these. I can't get any of these. I don't got any money. I'm a poor boy. And we could go up the stairs here, but I clearly want to see if my key card works outside. And if we can get any secrets out there. Throw a pie bomb in his house. I wonder if that's just a guy with a really long arm or if it's... <laughs> Hi there. Wait. Hey. Who's hey. that? Excuse me? It's the... It's the... The, ult the ultimate guy. The guy from the title screen, hello there. We do have the key card. Man, we got some long arms too. It seems everything in this game just has really long arms. Giving me like bendy vibes. I guess that is because it is a similar type of game. Entertainment Guide. Television's friendly new neighbor. This week saw the premiere of a new series on the city's network aimed at preschool age children. My friendly neighborhood. This show centers on the titular friendly neighborhood and I'm in its res resident puppets. Who, with the help of adults like Stevie Richard Brom Bromine, teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. <laughs> Man, we got so much text here. Get MatPat on this. Read all of this. Take a screenshot. It's probably too it's too small to even read on your screen. This is the typewriter where it all happened. Hello, Mystic Maze, the Shadow Sapphire. Health alax? Could I get some health alax? That sounds like a laxative. Hey y'all, I'm Norman. I'm Hello? a really normal guy. Is anyone there? I just kind of uh, chill up. Could be a friendly face in the background. Oh. Uh, sometimes I get some lines to recite too. Well, let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> I'm a hey, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm looping him. Get children. looped. Get absolutely looped, idiot. What's going on here? He attacks me. The puppets storm Chicago, a musical movie. Have a smiling day. The puppets big heist. What's going on back here? Dude, I didn't even take damage there. I'm pretty sure you're scripted to take damage. I'm actually insane. The gun. Ready there to fight. You Hi are. there. Now don't toddle off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Gordon. What? Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. <laughs> it's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. What's Ramsey doing in this place? I say it all day. Gordon. 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 Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. Oh, I it's mine. Oh, 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 boy. Wah, wah, Solid voice acting go for this puppet. all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. 
Don't get on her bad side is all I <laughs> What was that? Uh oh. Time to reload. Time to figure out how this gun works. Something's okay. coming in. Let's do this. Oh boy. Judy time? Reload. I got an achievement for finding the Rodo Rolo Daxer. Hi there! <laughs> When enemies are knocked over, you can tape them. Look at an enemy and press E. Do I have any tape though? I guess, wait. I don't have any tape. There's tape on the floor. That's not tape, that's a letter. I'm shooting letters, Sesame Street style. Do we got any tape? What's this? Uh, Hank's Inventor Diary. I finally got it working. It's a real beaut. I think I'll call it the Stenographer because it shoots letters out of an index. <laughs> Shouldn't be dangerous at all, but it'll really give someone a clonk if they hit it in the head. Should be useful for security, special effects, fun, etc. Can I... Can I get some tape? I don't have tape. I guess I'm just gonna run then. Bye-bye. I'm trying to find tape. I love how they told me to press E on them to use tape and then they just said tape zero. Fuck you, idiot. <laughs> Come on, man. The loading screens are nice and fast. I like that. These games can really grind to a halt if you have to traverse long areas and the loading screens are bad. Okay, we got like barely any ammo. Loving the minimalistic UI right now. It's so annoying. So annoying when a game like this has massive UI so you don't know where to put your face cam. Hello? I have to. It's red light, green light. I'm coming. To little piles based on color. This will be what you make your crafts out of. I don't know if I have to wait here. Because he has all sorts of origins. I, I'm assuming the rules here. I don't know if I'm getting the rules. I don't really know what's going on in here in the first place. There's so many damn rooms. We get a triangle door. It's locked by a triangle key. I'm assuming. Uh. More back door. We have more ammo. Thank you very much. I'll take that. I'll take a health relax too, which is presumably a heal. You can use health relax to restore health. Press tab to open your inventory. You thought I got hit yet? What do you think I am? Some kind of fake gamer? I haven't been hit at all, idiot. Um, the neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone is lining up at Leonard's on antique display to try an, on a beautiful pair of earrings. Pearl enters, sees the earrings, and cuts into the line, pushing Liliana out of the way and causing a commotion. Okay, so it's it's a scene here. Pearl, that wasn't nice. Uh, Pearl sheepishly, sheepishly glances around at the others, who are all glowering at her and hunches in shame. You can't just push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think about other people first, do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Well, maybe this will make it clear. Put another... Song, put another before yourself. Put another before yourself. Before you go, see if someone needs help. Blah, 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 blah. I like it. Bunch of lore in here. That's just a regular toilet. Is there any tape in the toilet? I don't know why there would be tape in... What? <laughs> well, there sure seems to be tape in the toilet. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go like that. What the fuck? <laughs> the mail? The mail oh. comes every day. I look out the window waiting for the moment it appears. And I... when it does, I rush outside to see what I got. Sometimes I love how they're just talking. Sometimes it's bitter or friendly. I don't know if I have to shoot you, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm taping you up. Get taped. Because I wanna be able to move. I don't know if I have to be here ever again, but I'm just gonna shoot these people. I, I am so lost. Where the fuck am I going? Is this a save point? It's a save point. Public save station, but I need five coins for it. I need a heal. I need money as well. Oh, we can. Can I get the map? We got a map. All right. Good stuff. Uh, tutorial. Push M to open the map. Oh, baby. It has like the, well, the Resident Evil uh, map where you can see if there's still stuff hidden somewhere. So you know if you have to go back into an area. And we got our inventory which has money in it i'll take it i'll take some uh some letters which i can shoot as well uh i won't even save the game yet there's like zero chance that i die he says as he's about to die hi there i don't have any tape there's a circle door as well it's unlocked wait a minute is this like a, a shortcut uh yes i think so yeah, this is where we followed someone inside. Okay, so it's just a shortcut. Let's check out the map. What are we doing here? Where are we? 
we are right here i'm assuming that's our location complete not complete there's a dude in there which we have to talk to uh wait where am i oh no these are locked doors wait a minute i'm not even am i even on this floor i am on this floor okay uh i i guess my my character is not oh i am the dude i am the dude of course <laughs> i am gordon so we're in an area that's not completed which i assume means there's like some loot to find uh which i would love some loot maybe in the trash can maybe over here in the locker it's gotta be in here it's a coin let's go does that complete it that completes it okay so now that's that's how it's gonna go if you complete an area which means either like completing a quest or getting some loot it's gonna uh finish it so we're gonna go this way because there seems to be a room that has a bunch of stuff in there how am i today i'm doing mighty fine what are you doing over there i guess i'm just gonna be shooting everyone uh aha there's so much money holy dude i'm getting absolutely rich i can save so many times i'm gonna save one time just uh just because i have infinite saves basically if they're gonna keep showering me with money i'm also gonna shoot you two shot you're a meanie i don't have any tape so i'm just gonna leave you there uh, i do have more ammo and more health alax damn they're really sh sh putting me full of loot huh are we the bad guy are we the baddies oh, we're back here there's a coin okay i really gotta pay more attention because there's stuff literally everywhere do i have a flashlight I, I pressed f that did not put up the flashlight are you fightable or are you angry what are you doing? I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> All right, you are very much fightable. Thank you for the ammo. I appreciate it. That's this area done. Man, they are... Okay, nice. All right, so this these areas are literally all done. I can't... Uh, how do I move between floors? Okay, there we go. So you want to try and get up and just explore around. And I'm too good at this game. <laughs> Wait, oh yeah, you're taped up. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's where we went last time. So let's go down this time and see what's over here. I love how they're just talking like to each other or to themselves all the time. We have the circle key, but let me guess, I need to do... Oh, that was the easiest mini game of all time. But they taught me how to do that. Is someone sleeping here? Is someone yawning? I swear that's someone yawning. Can I watch the television? Oh, there's literally a wrench right here. I, I am glad I didn't <laughs> get an achievement for that as well. Okay, left mouse button. So if you don't have ammo, you can do melee. Okay, well, that was definitely important. Can I break stuff as well? Don't think I can break stuff. All right, that was that was worth the <laughs> worth coming back for. We have infinite swings. What the fuck? Oh, hi, you're back. You're you're right at the door I want to be. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For dogs, you can bring squirrels. For the sewer grate, you can bring yesterday's leftovers. Sorry, I was listening to your, but it, it stopped being interesting. Unlock with the blue circle key. Fluent and gibberish. Oh baby, can we play? Can we gong it? Ten out of ten game best game i've ever played <laughs> is that gonna attract monsters i hope not that's a massive pizza so much yummy food this might be all for puzzles there's so many things though i can't really bonk most things we have to cut it's taped shut and i can't swing i need a knife all right we need a knife of some sorts to break through there they're like showing me locks and i have to find the keys uh, educating the world. Wet paint. Do not touch. Gonna try and break it. Feather hang. What the hell? There's nothing else in here. You get that pizza size all the time. I mean... Aha! Uh -huh. Secret! Oh my god! It's a cheat tape? Find a cheat tape. I'm not gonna use the cheat tapes. Oh, you're back. They, they, they like, come back alive so fast. Alright, there's... Uh, there's gotta be something in this room, right? Oh, I can open these as well. Any lore in here? Hey, more tape and a little whale figurine. Um... That's it. I was expecting more. Maybe we can start smacking stuff with this. 
Hi, what are you doing back there? Dong. Hey, there you go. That's the door we're looking for. Because the key, you can see it right here that the key wasn't actually done yet. So we can't just discard this. I'm assuming we can. It's. I'm, I'm assuming, I hope I can. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be fucked forever. <laughs> okay, when it has like the little check mark, it's over. Okay, good, 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 good to know. Wow. Hi there. Damn. This must be one of the old sets. This reminds me of the New York, New York Hotel in Las Vegas. It's such a cool place. They got like an indoor New York replica. I mean, obviously not the same size. Hi there. Uh, there's a key. Square key. I would love that. It's locked though. Everyone just talking about bullshit. Oh, this opens. Can I steal all your money? I need the square key. Can I ding the bell and just bait everyone to my location? Avian alphabet with Pearl. Pearl's the giant bird that's gonna try and kill me, right? That's quite a bird. Uh, oh my God, that's quite a bird. <laughs> that is indeed quite a bird. Holy. There's a fish. Looks like it can open, but the lid won't lift. We need fish. All these places open. There's more ammo. Infinite ammo. I don't know if I should fight that. You're gonna see me, right? What's this? D? Turn? I can turn it and lights turn on. I'm assuming I shouldn't turn it. I just need to find more lights. All right, I'm just gonna leave you there, actually. Whoopsie daisy. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go into the ABC building. This place is weird as hell. <laughs> hey, welcome Raiders, what's up? Let's see. Hello? We're on a movie set right now? Who's crying? Are you okay, buddy? Well, 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 it's time for what does Norman notice? Well, let's see here. Uh, what does Norman notice? Uh, what? Norman? What does Norman notice? Wait, we're okay. Another save point. Man, we're insane. Uh, is the key done now? So the key is done. I'm going to assume I can just discard that. Once something is done, I can just discard it. Uh, we got so much inventory. I appreciate that. So many games that are like uh, have survival elements give you such a tiny inventory. That makes it extremely annoying. All right, I'll just save again. Save the game. And I don't know if there's like a, a punishment for saving. We're just going to keep exploring around. Let's check the map real quick. There is stuff in this room. Give me the loot. There it is. Tape and that. Nice. And then everything is done. Good stuff. I want to see the, what this Norman guy is all about. Hello, Mr. Norman. I can't go in here. I need the square key first. Someone's on the other side of this wall. Wait, did I just get? Oh, never mind. I thought I just got locked in. I was like, what the hell? I appreciate it, man. Oh. Hello, big bird. I might have to get over there, but first I'm going to check back here. Do not enter. That makes me want to enter even more. Uh oh, don't fall. What happens if I fall? The, we need the onion looks like it can open but the n lift won't or the lid won't lift There's a mushroom. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to figure out how to open any of these So we got an onion a mushroom and a fish Hi, buddy buddy More ammo I'm gonna shoot you in the face if you don't mind You're pretty damn tanky What damn I should have probably, I should probably tape that guy. <laughs> Took so many bullets. Okay, we got another square door. Can I, I can't interact with any of these. They're talking about numbers and shit. There's a coconut. What is that? Looks like a coconut. It's kind of dark. Is this game really scary? There's mascots and everything. I think we'll be fine. There's another fish. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're looking for these letters. I see. Someone's eating. Can I open these? I can open these, but there's nothing in there. Uh, where am I? I'm this guy. I'm in here. There's something left to loot. Give it to me. I can't pick up any of these tapes. 
Aha, it's in there. More tape. I have far too much tape. I really like this tape mechanic. That's like one of those things that... Like, in Resident Evil, you so often have to run past the same zombies over and over again if you don't choose to kill them. But this gives you, like, an interesting way to, uh... To not have to defeat the same character over and over again. It's down here. This is, like, one confusing mess. There's the detour. There's another letter. Okay, we're, we're spelling a word here. Sesame Street style. Um... Okay, I am down there. This is already completed. Can I go further down? Tiny paper boxes. Thank you for the 19. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> I love how they go ragdoll flying. What the fuck? Sorry, I'm not gonna tape. Oh. I never let it get me down. I'm gonna check over here first before I go past that guy. So many ways to go. So many, so many paths to explore. What's one supposed to do? I actually scared you. Hey, some of these guys are pretty, pretty spooky. Uh, oh, I can jump down and get the key. Okay. There's no handle on this side. All right. They really want me to get the key. I appreciate that though. Hi there, sir. You can't even get me. Is there like a way to aim? How hanky is that guy? All right, now we can grab the key. The latch won't release. Just climb over it. God, use your God-given knees. To, are you fucking joking? Are you serious? Can we open this door at least from this side? Okay, we can't. This guy is literally stuck in the wall. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. I'm trying to tape you. I can't jump. Wait, how am I supposed? To, the latch won't release. The frick. There's so much text on this and it was manifested onto me that those things be good which yet are corrupted Some religious Preaching let's put the letters in there. Oh, you're down here now because I brought you down. Maybe I could smack it. You're actually oh, I can't smack it. Can I shoot it? I cannot shoot it. All right, it was worth a try. That was worth a try. Hello, mr. Bird uh, I really want to check that and place my letters because I got one, two letters. Yeah, Gordon, just use your damn knees. I want to check over there. The pizza place looks open. What if I just run into it? Will I die? Oh, baby. <laughs> that felt a little risky. Uh, it's pizza time. Okay, and then we can move this. It's not pizza time, it's actually fish time. And then we can open the doors that are related to the specific thing. That's what I'm gonna guess here. Aha, we have figured it out. Hello. Is there anything down here? There's probably some stuff down here. I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. You are so weak. And some of these are just... Tanky as shit. Okay. Uh, thank you. That's a lot of... That's actually different ammo. I think that's for some kind of shotgun. Uh, okay, that's all that was down here. I don't think I'm ever going to come past here again, so I'm just going to leave these guys. I'm going to save my tape. Maybe I'm going to... I think I might tape these people in the middle here, but okay. Let's try and open this. And we... Oh, the fish is open now. Okay, so it's going to be... Uh, lootables or other useful things. And there's so many people down here. What the fuck? You don't see me. Ah! What the fuck? Nope, nope, don't chase me. Everyone's after me. You piece of garbage. No, oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't realize you were still on top of me. Stay back. Goodbye. Stay back indeed. Can I? I'm gonna tape you down because you're annoying as fuck. Get taped. You know what? I'm just gonna kill some people down here. You get tape too. Someone behind me? No one's behind me. All right, you get taped. And then this other big guy down here, I also want taped. Because these are very strong. Holy dude. 
get taped. And that's all my tape, but I think that's nice because then down here is completely safe. Uh, there's also this area over here, which I think has the bird back here. Hello, bird. Oh, no, the bird goes in circles. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no, the bird. Go around the other way. Yeah, I don't think I can shoot the big bird. I'd rather just stay away. It's probably going to one-shot me. I'm also... I don't know how much this heal, heals, but I'm just going to use a health lax real quick and make myself healthy. What are you talking about? Oh, it's this guy. Fuck. Two hands in your stomach. That's how numbers work. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now you got two hands in your stomach. That's how numbers work. Okay, we got another letter because we're trying to find all the letters, right? You're literally stuck up there. Let me check in this box. Any tape, anything back here? Easy freeze. Just all that's down back here. Okay, that's all this back here. So we are done with this area. There's still something back here, but that's because we need to solve the puzzle over there. I'm assuming. All right, the bird is going in a circle. I'm just gonna sneak by if you don't mind. And then we're gonna put these letters over here. All right. Uh, oh, God. Okay, it's fine. We have one, two, three. We need one, two, three, four more letters. We're gonna find those upstairs. Uh, I feel like... Ah! That came out of nowhere. That actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? How did it see me suddenly? It wasn't seeing me at all before. Uh, I'm gonna assume I can take two hits. Like I can take another hit, but I shouldn't just spam all my heals. But it's so peaceful up here now. Uh, there was another fish around here. We should also use the, the pizza clock more and uh, open all these things and see what's inside of them. Was it? Oh, here it is, fish. Okay, what's this? Glasses? What was that? Glasses? What do I do with that? It looks... Uh, okay. Alright, I got glass. It's not probably a key item, though. I think we did all those. So let's put this on onion time. Because we know onion time is up there. Oh my god, this guy's fast. Alright, what's in the onion? The onion is just more ammo. Alright, that's fine. Alright, mushroom. This has a letter. Alright, nice. Okay. And then I think all that's left is, like, the coconut. Oh. This is like my, my brain can't handle this. All this talking. It's like... This is what it feels like to be on the inside of an ADHD brain. Oh, what's this? It's a hell... It's another health relax. Alright. That's fine. Uh, now what? Is there any more? Wait, there's a door here this whole time. I didn't even see that. Okay, there we go. So it, I could just go through this way. Alright, what's gonna be back here then? We haven't been here. The only place we haven't been. Check up here first. Uh, oh, okay. You could have also done the shortcut from that direction, I see. But then you avoid all the enemies. You don't waste a bunch of ammo. Can we just get the square key, please? Very dark. I don't know if they're ever going to give me a flashlight. Aha, uh -huh, and then we raise the... Th <laughs> That's so silly. I was totally under the impression I had to just go like over it. But nope, you gotta open it. You cannot get past the block. If it said do not enter, you cannot enter. That's how it works. All right, no bird. Now we can finally get the key. Yep, give me that key. Key and more ammo. I appreciate it. Now the flower, this source done. We can go to the catch register. Now everything opens up. This is, give me all the money. We have way too much already. And there's another letter. I, do we have all of them? Let's see. I think we're still missing one. Okay, one, two, three still need to be on there. We only got one. So yeah, I'm not even going to bo bother talking to the bird here because we need two more. But I remember there were quite some... Well, there was one door that we could open with the square key here. And then there's also the... Just rotate the key to make the diamond key. Come on, man. Don't be silly. Unlocked it with the orange square key. Someone is talking about big, big triangles. Another coin. Way too many coins. How many coins do I have? Four. Okay, we can save four times. I haven't saved in a long time. There we go. That's another one. Is there another door? So we need one more. One more letter. Uh, I was expecting it to be... Maybe it's going to be at the back of the mailbox. Like gotta be somewhere because this is done now right yeah this is done 
Okay. Boom, boom. I don't know if I have to move these myself. What am I even trying to spell here? Ness. <laughs> what is this spelling? What the fuck? This does not... Nesgore? Nesgore? It's gonna be neighbor, right? Oh, neighbor. There we go. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, we're just missing... Wait, there's still the fish here. Wait a minute. Maybe this is gonna give us the final letter? Or no, 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 because we already opened this one, right? Oh, it just closes again. It, does, it closes even if you've already... Oh, even if you've already uh, got what's inside there. Okay. So we just need to figure out what a final letter. Yeah, this door. We need to open this door. This is going to have the final letter. Oh, hello? Um, are you going to attack me? Did he end himself in Minecraft? Why are we just staring at him like this is very uncomfortable? I don't like it. Thank you for the final letter, though. No! Oh! You stupid, piece. Puppet. stupid puppet. Okay, everything is done. Let's solve the damn puzzle. Oh, it's uh, my best. I always start the day by getting ready for bed. Did you hear that? What the fuck? Me for real, for real. Okay. Neighbor, there we go. What did I just get? Oh, I got mail and then I put it in the mailbox. And I get a hand crank and a note. This unlocks a different part of the studio. Oh, okay. I've solved this area. That was fun. I like, I like if they're going to do it like this, this is going to be amazing. The problem I have sometimes with these uh, types of games is that they lead you into areas that like tie together way too much. So it gets super confusing on where to go. But this area was just one little neat package of stuff to do. And now we're just going to leave and go somewhere else. Like it, this area is like completely done. There's literally nothing left. Everything is, everything is green. And we just move on. Nice. We, yeah, we don't have the diamond key. We're gonna have to return there for the diamond key eventually. Now, what do we do with this crank? We got a crank. Um, I think we just gotta gotta go out, like literally go to the place where we started, and maybe use the crank there. Oh, look at this guy! Thank you for the fine Ricky sh the snackaroos he was talking about. He wasn't lying about snackaroos. This is what we need. Can I smack? There's no room in your toolbox. Okay, whoops. Cool, there we go. Give me that. All right, so that's one of the ones for the door, but we need another one. It's for Pearl. Glasses are for Pearl. You just gotta, what, what do you, the bird fucking destroys me if I talk to it. I'm not gonna w walk up to the bird and go like, hey, you, you want these glasses? Why does it say dot, dot, dot? Excuse me? Hello, bird. Oh, what? <laughs> you can put the glasses on the bird? Why? What does it do? <laughs> Are you not going to attack me anymore? Because you're like, thank you for the glasses. Is that what's going on? Hey there, Bruno. But you're not going to attack me anymore. It just makes you happy. Okay, well, oh. What? You piece of shit. What are you doing? Did you just... Hold down. We're all friendly. Oh, come here. I forgot about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go away. Oh, it's looking at itself in the mirror. <laughs> it's getting distracted. Hi there. <laughs> this is so silly. That's a good girl. There we go. See, nice and calm. It's been a long time since you saw yourself, huh? Absolutely terrifying. It happens to all of us. We all get shocked sometimes when we look in the mirror. Ah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. That's cool. Gordon helped Pearl. Look at that. We're going to get the good ending because we helped out the bird. Okay. So I assume that's mostly like if you did that early on in this area then you would have been able to like avoid uh having to deal with the bird as much as i had but that's still cool okay now we gotta figure out where the hell to continue i'm gonna go to the bunch of arrows i don't know if that's the place to go but it looks like it definitely wants me to go there 
and there we can rotate here we go crank put the crank in nice okay that wasn't too hard to find is it gonna be and an elevator no. <laughs> let's go we're gonna be like that police officer in boston who freaking like shoots down the slide uh this is the area where you start in the in the demo i think i open this is locked from the other side abc one two three have you guys not seen that clip of the of the boston police officer shooting out of the slide like at 100 kilometers an hour it's absolutely incredible <laughs> oh dear oh my you seem to be stranded in the basement how do i get out of here ricky oh having a clue never come down here myself why what's got your overalls in a knot i'm trying to get to the roof the roof <laughs> what's so interesting about the roof down here's much more interesting. oh he's trying to like Must distract us unrelated how do you feel about blood force head trauma? What is it this time? Excuse oh, me? Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Um, what? are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. <laughs> Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take nice my Nice try. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. You gotta wash those four strands of hair. Can we break this? Give me all this stuff. Oh, baby. Okay, there's still more stuff to find. Lore. War is over. Wait. Oh, it's not. It's 1972. Military vehicles passing through the market. An empty home. What is this? War is over. After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent. Called the War of Horrors to conflict, which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. Unlike previous homecomings, veterans returning to the city's main docks were booed and hissed, reflecting the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve the war, hoping to protect their home, but in the eyes of the public, helping to per perpetrate those horrors. The Northern War has been called the first war fought in the living room due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. Violet Lavender, thank you for the five. Okay. Ray Fixins, as we're gonna go in here. I am still hurt because the stupid bird I walked up to. It. Oh, hi there. Hi, friends. Can I avoid you guys? Can I just loop you? Come this way. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot you a few times. Okay, you're looking the wrong way. I'm gonna quickly get in here. Maybe there's tape. There's not tape. I'm, st I'm just gonna tape you. I don't know how many times we're gonna pass through here, but we're gonna find a bunch of tape in here as well, right? I'm gonna check this area. Is Ray gonna come through here? Didn't he say Ray was in the pipes or? Uh, what is this? Puzzle? To all personnel, due to the construction of new stages, this blast door. I'll, I'll move you guys as well, by the way. Uh, I, I know I'm reading it out loud anyway, but. Seems like over here is usually no text. Um, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch and card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, the machine, this machine can be used to print replacements. Okay. Uh, it's not turned on though. Looks because, like it needs power. Yeah, this stuff is missing at the top, so we're going to need something to make power. And then we can make punch cards, I see. Uh, get in through the store. Oh, we can go in here. Call me Lucy. Thank you for the two. More health relax and a bunch of money. I was hoping it'd be taped. I don't have any keys. Do I need the lockpick? Are we gonna Skyrim lockpick or something? And thank you for the map. Okay, we need. Right, this is gonna be relevant later. 
Oh, uh, I guess I could heal. I got so many heals though. Does this heal me too? What does that even do? What does the candy bar do? Examine. Probably out of date. Gives a pep to your. It gives you more stamina. Interesting. All right, I'm just gonna quickly heal. Um, and then we'll save. I I like his long ass arm. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god! It makes you so fast. If you want to explore, that's kind of nice. <laughs> All right, we have more exploring to do. This map looks different. It's hand drawn. There's something in here. That's because we got to do this puzzle. It gives me the zoomies. I'm fast as frick boy. Um. Okay, we got to go to stage two. That's wait a minute. That's exactly where we want to go. All right, lady. Um. Hello, rat. I'm not gonna shoot you. I'm gonna run past you. Can I run past you? I'm just gonna shoot you. Hey there. I'm not gonna attack you. This lasts long, man. Oh, hi there. Um, Gordon. Hello. Can I turn on the light and see you? I, it's extremely dark in here. Can't interact with any of this. More ammo. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> this face down there jump scared me. Uh, in Ray's workshop. Uh, as Stevie and Ricky enter Ray's workshop, is overflowing with enormous piles of sewage. Ray, what is this play? Ray, where are you? This is so cool. You're annoying, dude. Shut up. Okay, I can't shoot him. He's trying to read. What was that? I don't know, some weird guy. He is make. Looks like part of it's missing. Okay, we need to put something in there. I see. Put this in there. We need this part and then put it in here so then we can power up the machine. Okay, so we're missing step one of this puzzle. Uh, you're in the vents. That's pretty sus of you, don't you think? Uh, so this is gonna still be red here. Um, wait a minute. We need- there's an X right here. Boat? There's a boat? <laughs> we can take a boat and stuff? Oh no, but that door was blocked over here. So we gotta go down- no, because this door was blocked by that whole puzzle thing. I feel like this is just our next step. We need to figure out what the hell goes in here. Can we check this out? We haven't been here, right? This, this, this did not open previous. I'm gonna quickly check back there. I don't even know if I tried this door. I must have not tried this door because I can't go in here, which opens up a whole new can of worms because we can check this whole area. Um, the back rooms, we're in the pipe rooms. Um, what? They're aggressively friendly. They're so friendly, they're trying to knock you out. Hi there. This is like a freaking murder scene over here. Oh, we have so much. Look at that. I didn't even realize how much ammo I have. I have freaking 82 reserve ammo. I'm crazy with it. I'm going to explore where there's no monsters are first. And then we'll loop back around for the monster area. Nice music. Are we going to do another side quest? I want to do all the side quests. I hope there's multiple endings and stuff. We'll see. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on my latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it uses up a lot of letters, so I'll need to conserve ammo. Okay. Well, we have a ton of ammo, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me guess. We can only open one of these. More tape. More ammo. Uh, there's still more in here, though. Uh, studio rules. Be friendly to your neighbors. Keep quiet. Guests are not permitted. Neighbors are to be kept only in designated areas. Avoid equipment you are unfamiliar with. No swearing around the neighbors. Uh, cables, wires, and cords are to be taped down. Dangerous materials such as scissors, tape, blah, blah, blah. Be mindful of custodial staff. Generally keep the studio in the same condition as found. Oh, well, you guys are not very nice. More money. When's the, when I will find this damn shotgun, I'll have so much ammo already. Uh, still something in here. Music. Can I open any of this? 
Oh, there it literally is right there. <laughs> Wait, excuse me. There's no room in the. I didn't see. How did I miss that? I didn't see it. Uh, can I move this? Move. Boom. That's gotta be. That's ten spaces exactly. Oh, I shot it instead of picking it up. Let's there we go. Find the novel. What did I just do? We only have five ammo. I swear we have way more. Okay, this is gonna one shot them though. We have a shotgun. Let's go. I'm gonna equip the gun again though. For now. Uh, I'll save the shotgun for a rainy day. I'm one of those gamers. I I'll be sitting on a potion until the end of the game and never actually use it. It's locked from the other side. What is this? Dark Souls? Okay, now we got to go past them, though. I can press just three for the shotgun. Um, sleeping Sleeping can be the best part of the day. That sounds kind of sad. Okay, that's broken. All right, I'm gonna, let's try out this damn shotgun, shall we? <laughs> Get absolutely demolished. I'm going to tape you up. Absolutely wrecked. Oh, so much stuff in here. Uh, nothing in there. It's a picture and a bunch of... Dear diary? Wait, I love this, like, lore that you can't even read. Like, I wish you could read it. They're putting a ton of detail in here. All the studio rules again. Thank you for more tape. We're finding lots of tape, lots of health. I'm not going to have enough inventory for whatever's in here. Uh, <laughs> hi there. <laughs> Hope you're okay, buddy. And there's the last part. Okay, let's use one of these heels. Uh, and then we pick this up. Nice. Oh! What the fuck, brother? <laughs> Dear diary, lorem ipsum. Exactly, maybe it's like that. Okay, well, you scared the shit out of me. Uh, now we need to go back to the other side. Uh, this way and assemble the part and do the puzzle. This thing. There, and then we have another part. So now we go to that. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Hello. Come over this way. Let's get looped. Let's get loopy with it. Goodbye. I don't think I have to come back here ever. Easy beat. Yeah, the mouse are pretty, pretty cute. I think you can shoot them, but why would you? That's insane. Goodness gracious. This, this is like absolute mayhem in here. Like <laughs> stimulation overload. So let's put it on here. Boom. And then we turn on the machine. And then up here was a puzzle, right? Up here somewhere. Forgot what it exactly said. It was like two squares. What is it? Two square, one... Tri oh, wait. Plus two square, minus one triangle, plus six squares. Okay. So plus two square, minus one triangle, and plus six circle. Hello, machine? Oh, there... Uh, I made something? I made something by just smacking. What did I just make? What does this do? I don't think I want this. I, I think I want to discard this. Let's see. So can I not do... I think you have to do it in threes. So we do one, two, th that. Okay. So now we have two squares and circles. But how are we going to do minus one triangle? How the fuck does that work? Okay. Put that in there. What exactly am I doing? Okay. It does... Oh, what? Wait, so it literally, it does plus eight? A circle is plus eight? Is that what you're telling me? So I have to, or did it just go back to what it was? So it was one, two, like a square, the two, then a square again, the two, and then the circle did one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it reset. The numbers up, up top were showing us what each thing was so the square the triangle is going to be minus one so in order to make seven here we can just do uh this 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 because this is two eight minus one is seven so that creates seven here that's easy peasy now is that going to do something let's see so two from the square six and then minus one chop 
and then it's it clicks in place okay so that one clicks in place here we have to make 10 i see so in order to make 10 we're just gonna do 6 plus 2 equals 10 okay this is actually the easiest puzzle of my life you just have to figure you just have to figure out what the hell you're trying to do in the first place okay so that's that this one needs to be three well that's just two things and a triangle easy peasy i'm assuming that's what we're doing and then the door opens Boom, boom. He's insane with it, math. Hey, we're learning numbers here. <laughs> okay. Wow. I wonder how deep this goes. What is going on? Is there a giant, like... Is it really making a mine? <laughs> giant tunnel. I don't remember this from the... Maybe it was in the demo. I just don't remember it. Oh, boy. Oh God, so many. How many? I have one tape. I'm gonna loop around. No one can see me. I'm a sneak. I'm a sneaky boy. I'm just gonna go this way because I don't have to interact with anyone going this way. Oh. How are we doing on the map? There is, this is there's nothing there to find. Creepy. Fine. There's nothing creepy after all. We're gonna get jump scared. <laughs> Game could use more explosives. I got a shotgun. Uh, what the hell? This place is absolutely massive. What are these shoes doing everywhere? Oh. Sounds like it's about to fall apart, man. I haven't saved in a while, so please don't just insta-kill me. Seems like the type of game that wouldn't do that. Raise lair, lair, stay away. Okay, we need the triangle key right there. Um, is there something up here? There's nothing on these, uh, on these uh, rafters here. And those are some giant pipes. They're moving a ton of water. I don't know why they're doing that. This is just Sesame Street, right? And we get another save. What's this? We fixed it. We're going to fix it. George and Ricky are going to <laughs> trying to teach you how to type or how to construct English sentences. What's going on here? Why can't I dig this tape? Or is that that's bandages? It's not tape. Uh, just clothes. I would love to get some. Love to get some tape, but I guess that's just hard to find. All right, save the game. What's this? Um, the City Tribune. Letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I'm frightened by the tone of the morals on that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, you should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing that what's more, what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? I want my daughter to live the fullest life she can, so I don't want some TV producer filling her head with dangerous self-sabotaging ideas. I think from now on, she'll watch something else. Damn. Good point, though. Um, let's save. We are completely healthy. Bada bim, bada boom. We got more than enough money. What's back here? There's some truth to it. I mean, these people don't seem very friendly anyway. We have another triangle key. Or I don't think I need I think I'm actually is this ammo just going to waste or does it not display more than this wait no it is not going to waste is it I have one two three yo oh, that's already more than a hundred because it's 426 piles so yeah no, we don't have to worry it is just not displaying it's not displaying the amount but we still have more than that uh, there was a toolbox in the last room. Yeah, you can... Oh, wait, I guess you can maybe check if there's stuff in the toolbox. We should really be putting some ammo and stuff in the toolbox, huh? We have far too much. I have not been really bothering with inventory management because they're pretty lax with it. Uh, let's put some stuff away because uh, we have far too much. Let's put a pile of this stash. I'll put like three of these away. I think we don't need all these heels either. We're a little, a little over encumbered here. Um, that's fine. We can always, uh, resort it. Organize my inventory. Is there no button to organize it? Let's 
it's gonna auto organize it right because we're gonna be picking up more shit anyway uh what's back here oh no they're freaking talking gibberish again gobble 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 hey there don't you dare chase me no don't you chase me oh god no you peace run Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Run, 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 run. I don't want to deal with anyone. I'm going over this way. Bye. Uh-oh, am I going to be stuck here? Can I even take this elevator? Let me go. There's no power. Okay, it's fine. I thought they were gonna, <laughs> if they were still behind me. Okay. Oh, no, there's, they're still behind me. What the hell? Do I have tape? I do have tape, but I don't really want to waste it on these guys. Okay, uh, anyway, what am I doing? There's still stuff back here. There's triangle things that we need to unlock. Sound stage basement. I'm assuming... Are you coming for me? I'm assuming that this means that uh, it's blocked. Like, it's a blocked door that doesn't open from this side. Um, this is a triangle door. There's a boat over here. Maybe we should go check out the boat. I'm going to take a... Uh, a choco thing to speed run oh god he's there don't smack me wait i was actually too fast he couldn't smack me and i think we just gotta do oops we gotta do right wall strats here to get to where we want to go this way man this is this is amazing i want more of these choco bars aha there it is there's the boat what's that say george why is george in the trash can what's george ever done can I take the boat or is there no power? I can drive the boat. I am speed. Or George. Where the hell? Why? Where are we even going? Oh, it's a shortcut. Uh. Oh, we're on this side now. Excuse me. There's mannequins. Do not appreciate. More tape. Okay, we got two tape now. And we also have a heal station. I have more than enough heals. I don't need to waste any coins on that. Unlocked. Okay, so this is probably just a shortcut. Wait, no, it's not. This is a completely new area. Wait, no, it's not. We have already been here. Uh, but there is still stuff to explore back here. Many things to explore, actually, that I haven't seen yet. What is tape used for? You can... So, if you kill an enemy, they'll come back alive. But if you tape them, they'll just be down on the ground forever and they can't come back alive all right hi friends i am just here to explore i am i do not mean you any harm but i will shoot you if you decide to attack me i'm not asking who asked <laughs> oh hi there what the fuck you were not dead I thought you were supposed to be dead oh this is just still red because of that dang it hello sir i shot you with a letter oh there's lore here Puppets Pirates Cove, a triumph for the family. It's the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise gross. It was inevitable for Gerswald Pre Precocious Pre Precocious Puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score brings the swashbuckling spirits into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. The plot centers about a young lad named Clark who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend, Ricky, to continue on page four. Oh, I can go in here. Wait a minute. This might, this is for sure the new area. There's a triangle door. What's back here? What are you hiding from me? You're hiding more tape. I appreciate it. What the fuck? Okay, it's locked with an electric hatch, which is gonna Strange be over here. Break your box. Okay, I need fuses of sorts. What's this? And there's a key to everyone. Someone keeps taking the breakers that you use to open these doors. So I put them in those lock boxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case. Okay, those are the ones we kept seeing and we were like, why can't I open them? Okay, so we're just literally gonna sprint through the entire place quickly get those because they were everywhere. Easy peasy. Uh, one is over here. One was in that... Okay, that's fuse. That's the third fuse. 
Uh, that one. Oh, it literally marks it on the map. I appreciate that. Let's go over this way. In here was one. There's another. Okay. Oh, God. Leave it. No. No, you suck. You piece of garbage. <laughs> go away. Okay. Well, I'm still cautioned, so we're fine. And there's the third one, and now there's just one more left, which is over near the beginning. Yeah, there we go. Final one. Okay. So now we got all the fuses, right? If I uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we need to go back and put them all in. Okay, we have all the fuses. Now there were some uh logic to it. Let's see. Uh I think there were notes. Um there. Okay, so first one. And so club diamond heart spade club diamond heart spade that's not the right one uh yes diamond nope hard spade. there we go okay and that opens the right door and then if we change the order it's gonna open another door um what's happening in here the bolt cutters thank you I cannot take the shovel and more heals. So much stuff. Hi there. Do I have to shoot this? I thought that was like a collectible. The cardboard penthouse. Why the frick are they making sculptures over here? And then we can cut these guys. Let me guess this is going to be the boat shortcut that we've been so long waiting more waiting for for so long. Which will lead us back to the entrance over here. Which this then allows us to get in here. So let's go to the office basement because that's that was the place that was locked with the bolt cutter. Here we go. What's in here? There's got to be a code to change the door fuse formation to open a new door. Look down here. Oh, there's a tape. Another secret. Not that I want these cheats. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to be like infinite health infinite ammo they're gonna like disable achievements or something Ricky was talking about aha uh -huh. let's go easy peasy no clip mode oh yeah no clip mode we got that one uh when we played the demo you could fly around that was really cool we did it that was that was uh easy area we got a little lost in the sauce there but good stuff can i not read that note it's locked Music studio, the TV studio, everything is locked. The scribe, puppet winter song, puppet space quest. <laughs> what a poster, dude. <laughs> Imagine. Wub mump caverns. Great. It's starting again. More TV. Gonna show us more or nothing? Oh, it's interrupting the show again. So that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to stop the stop the news from being interrupted hey thank you very much ding 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 the bell for good luck that's how it works it's a nice area what the fuck oh we can actually go through here yeah we need to disconnect the antenna what the hell are you tiny little guy You guys okay? Are you gonna attack me? Ah! What the fuck? What are they? I'm just gonna walk past these guys and not really bother with them. They're cursed. They're jumping around. Ooh, another man. There's too many of these. What is this? A set. There's no room. We need to make room. All right, now we can tag it. Boom. What are we gonna do with this? Velvet mask. I should give that to someone, probably. And then it's gonna unlock something new. Thank you for the ammo, I appreciate it. Uh, save the game. Dredge inventory. Dredge had a pretty smooth back there. Hi there, rat. Is there gonna be like a secret ending if you shoot all these rats? I'm not gonna do it. I will not sink to your level. Also, there's tape literally everywhere. We should just start using the tape willy-nilly because we got so much damn tape. Uh, 
Oh god. Let's see. Where are we right now? We are in the op. Wait. I'm not on the. I'm not on the map. Oh, because I don't have the map yet. I see. What the fuck are you guys? Ah! Okay, they're what? angry. I didn't realize oh, that. No. Don't get too close to them. I'm gonna shoot you. Damn, you are tanky as fuck. I can't deal no. him. Oh no! The freaking little dudes, man. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite paintings in Puppet <laughs> Puppet Edition. What's it called again? Nighthawks, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna tape him. Okay, tape this guy. You you guys all suck. I'm not gonna waste all my tape on you. More news. Uh, on the war, a reflection. Last month marked seven years since the end of the war, so it seems like a good time to reflect on the impact it had, has had on our lives. I think across the whole city, the war has left us feeling troubled. We were called to service for the sake of righteousness, love for one city, and protecting others. But in the end, we found that those calls were just noble lies. And behind them, the horror of reality thwarted our starry-eyed ideals. We left home as heroes and came home as murderers. This tension leads to a question. Why should we care about right and wrong or friendliness as the children's show puts it? Following such things can have a terrible cost. The only reason would be if there were some overarching purpose, some guide, guiding goodness to our wanderings in the world. But that is exactly what an injustice like the war calls into question. Perhaps it is time to put aside those old ideas Perhaps it is time to look for other sources of hope. Perhaps the wise man is the one who lives for himself. Okay, so that's like the... They seem to be doing like... Do you have to be selfless or should you be selfish? That's like the... The the conversation here. Also, more ammo. Thank you very much. Um, and then we might find the map. What happened in this place? Excuse me? This is a minigun, bullets? Find some punctuations. A powerful point. What? <laughs> I found a new type of bullets. What? The punctuation. What is that? Puppet massacre over here. Excuse me. It's locked. Hi there. You guys are all going to come alive and ruin my day. What? Are we going to give a presentation over here? They party too hard. Hard. Let the bodies hit the floor. We need another mask. May I don't know what we need it for. Okay, let's see. What are we ditching? Using a heal. And picking it up. My inventory. Oh no! Uh oh, uh oh. Um look at this loop. Look at this insane loop. Ah! No! I should have more heals. I'm gonna get killed here. Run. Run, there's too many. Maybe I should have used the bomb. Oh my god, he's right behind me. I did not realize that. <laughs> what the fuck? Get me out of here. Jesus. <laughs> Good thing I just healed. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. Uh, let's check up here before we go back. Because we obviously got to use these masks somewhere. There's a... Definitely a puzzle. Always use punctuations. Oh boy, there's gonna be too much loot. I repeat, too much loot. Never mind. More tape. A uh, heal that I cannot carry. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here. Is there a storage here anywhere? Dude, holy moly, this place is loaded. It's freaking loaded. What's this? Use a heal. Okay, true, true, true. The Cessos, thank you for the tier 350. Okay, I should use a heal. Uh, use heal. And grab this real quick. Uh, what the fuck? What are you doing here, sir? Oh, oh. It's evil. I can't loot this place anymore. Okay, it like hits the wall. It's fine. Right, I'm going. <laughs> it's Mike Wazowski. I want to watch that? Monsters and Co. again. That's such a masterpiece of a movie. Uh, you know what? You're going to be annoying. I already feel it. You're literally already annoying. Holy shit, you almost had me. What? Okay, let's use this weapon. Can I please reload? I'm trying to reload. What? 
I'm pressing R, it doesn't reload. Wait, I got oh the punctuation is a bomb! <laughs> Wait, why can't I reload this thing? Excuse me? I'm confused. Oh there we go, now I can. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna tape you too. Get taped. I still got so much tape anyway. So many doors. Hi and I thank you for the prime. We get more loot and more tape immediately. And the map. Let's go. All right. Now life gets easy. The map has been acquired. Life is good. So much ammo. There's actually too much ammo. Um. I am going to... I am healthy and everything. I'm going to use one of these guys. Pick this up and run. Use the speed. Punctuation is a bomb. Am I, that's literally what it is. Uh, I shot you in the face. There's also... I should check this room first. Of course, there's nothing here. Oh, that room is blocked by the diamond key. I don't know if tape is even... Oh, hi there. I'm going to tape you. <laughs> Dude, I'm a menace. I'm I'm out here destroying all of these. More. I didn't they really don't have any room, man. I'm suffering from success. This is crazy how much it's crazy how much art they made for this game. Like so many, <laughs> so many parody paintings. That's actually amazing. <laughs> what the hell? So oh, cool. It, yeah, this game is like vibed out the wazoo. Uh, hi there. You're gonna come alive. I already know it. Very creative. The R just had some fun. Oh, hi. Oh, bye. Oh, not you guys. More ammo. Shut up, everyone. Can I shoot both of them at the same time? Oh. I don't want to tape these guys, so that seems like a waste. They all got blasted. Excuse me? They got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> More tape. Ah, uh, we gotta shoot these. Let's see. Don't use the bomb. Wait, you don't? Oh, there we go. Boom, boom, boom been done he's insane with it what do i get what's my price my price is ammo <laughs> oh looks like fun maybe i'll give it a shot what let's play a game press the bell to start when it's your turn either draw a card or play a card or play a card to move that many spaces first to end wins you land on norman draw what ring the bell it's missing a piece. I want to play! Wait, you got the key. I need to win this game. Wait, what is it missing? It's missing a piece. What the fuck? There's a bunch of numbers on the ground. What's going on here? Uh, looks like something is missing. Everything is missing. God damn it. Holy. <laughs> what does a man got to do to get inventory space around here? I, I you remember when I said that there was... I'm just... I have too much stuff. Unlock. Wait, this is going to be a shortcut. Can we go... Is there like a storage thing there? I mean, we can always grab this stuff later. Oh wait, we haven't been here before, have we? No, this is Neo, wait a minute. We haven't been here before. Thank you for the ammo. Everyone's yelling at me. Jimbug, another tape, more cheats that I... I mean, that's gonna make a second playthrough very just... Stupid fun, just like breaking everything with cheats. Uh, uh oh, what's back here? We need this key. Again, a chest set. We need the piece. Let's go. And now we can go back and play the video game. I want to play the game. Wait, there's a there's a button to quick turn around. I was like, what did I just do? Uh, what the hell are you guys doing in there? There's nothing in here. There's a heel back there, but I don't think I can carry it. <laughs> We're fine. We, we, we don't need a heal anyway. Hello there, everyone. What are you guys doing back here? It's locked. I'm kind of glad it is. I'm not going to read this while everyone is yelling at me. My brain's going to break apart in many small pieces. 
I'm running out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Get me out. <laughs> here we go. It's game time. Video game time. Add the piece. All right. Let's see. Ding the bell. So what do we do? If you land on Norman, draw a card. June bug is wild. If you start, if you start your turn on June bug, immediately play the top card of the deck. For a Leonard is slow. If you're Leonard, you can only play one. Uh oh. If you land on Goblet, you lose. Well, rip me. I guess. Here we go. Ding the bell. It's like freaking. We have to play the cards. Oh, here we go. Okay. One, two. If you land on Norman, draw a card. I think we're, we we want to do this. Get a card, a three. And then I'll play a one just so I get a free card. You are terrible at this video game. <laughs> okay. Now I get to... What did we do? Poor Leonard? I want to get past Leonard. So I'm just going to play a three hey, immediately. You can't do that. Oh. Uh, uh guess i gotta follow the rules oh whoops i i oh i thought it automatically would do that <laughs> wait a minute that was such a good hand too i thought it would oh my god that hand is 10 times better <laughs> okay i see I, I i broke the rules you know what i'm just gonna immediately go there insane i gotta play the top card of the deck i see here we go play the top card of the three i'm insane okay uh, if you land on Norman, draw a card. I think we're going to do that real quick. You can only play a one, so get fucked. We play a three to get over there. Get to this guy. Boom. Up smack in the table. And then we go over this, but we, we really need more cards. Oh, come on. No. Uh, I'm going to have to go here. Please don't draw a one. This is... You suck. He's too good. He's, this really depends on what we get here. All right, please. No! <laughs> That's so stupid. You dickhead. All right, here we go again. <laughs> this hand sucks. All right, I'm going to try drawing a card here early and then going to one to get a free card. Hopefully not a two, but it's fine. Okay, you're going to be stuck there. Nice. Amazing. I think I take this just to draw an extra card. So we don't get fucked over by RNG. All right, let's play a three, get past that. This is fun. What the heck? Okay, you can only play a one. I'm going to play a two to get an extra card here. Another two. Very good. So I don't want to end here, but I have to. All right, well, we're going to have to end there and just hope we don't get... Hope we don't get a one again. Come on, don't be rude. Okay. Let's go! We did it! <laughs> nice. And we get the key. I have no room, though, but we get the key. That was really fun. This game is cool, man. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna heal because he smacked me in the face a bunch. And thank you for the key, good sir. And now the whole world is our oyster because so many rooms required me to use that key. Let's see. What's in here? It's gonna just be like... Oh, another mask? Wait. Okay. But over here, I think we can get rid of the masks and then we can start freeing up some inventory, I think. Uh, because through this way is the statue room. Which if the statue room doesn't require me to use the masks, I don't know what the hell is going on. But let's see. Can we please put the masks up here? What are the masks for? Uh, our friend friends feel a lot of feelings. Junebug, here we go. Junebug had a good day. So June bug is going to be smiley. Um, Norman had a bad day. No, oh, no, you're that's more confused. Uh, Liliana found a big uh, mouse. So that's going to be like, oh, big mouse. OK, and then we need two more masks. We already have the angry masks that mask down here, which is for the guy that got cut off in traffic. <laughs> And then we just need a sad one. George got cut off in traffic. So George is going to be angry face. Yes. And then all we need is a sad face for Norman. Uh, but we're probably going to find that in some of the other rooms. Uh, we, wait, we can crawl through here. Draw cut. Because there were many rooms that were locked with the... Um... Oh my god, so many bullets. But we have a lot of inventory now. Look at this. It's happened. Fuck, terrifying painting. 
Uh, okay, can we ditch some stuff? We have two heals in here. Uh, I think we're gonna actually ditch the bombs for now. Um, and then I'm gonna ditch some of this ammo because I got far too much ammo. You could stash the rent. Yeah, it's true. I could stash this because I never use it. Um, oh, here we go. What are they doing in here? We can open this door. Is that the right? Oh, there it is. The sad mask. All right. Well, easy peasy. Uh, there's definitely way more to explore, though. We're not done here yet. Another coin. But we got a heaven worth of inventory right now. Uh, there's something more in this area. A heal that I couldn't pick up before. Thank you. Is that all? That is all. Okay. We can't open this yet, but now we can uh, finish the mask puzzle. All right. So... Norman had a bad day. Feels bad, man, Norman. Now what? Oh. Uh, and this is going to activate another elevator. What the fuck? Excuse me? <laughs> what am I doing? Give me the... Give me the dice? What? I got a dice? <laughs> what? What do I do with that? I guess we're going to need that somewhere. So, wait, can we use the dyes here? Yes, okay. But now we still need a code, though, which we're probably gonna find somewhere else, but at least we... Oh, easy peasy? Wait, <laughs> do we have to do the opposite sides or do we just have to do this? Three, six, one, okay. Three, six, one, five, two, three, four, five, four, six, five. All right, three, six, one, five, two, three, four, six, five. Three six one no five six five wait wait no four six five what why did you guys stupid <laughs> just type the numbers dude just type the fucking numbers four six five thank you oh it didn't do it. oh wait we, yeah you have to do the opposite side so you gotta do okay can we get the numbers in again because it, it both, if you don't know, little known fact, but I mean, everyone knows, but the opposite sides counts up to seven if I, if it's like a proper die. So let's see. Four, one, six. So it's got to be, th wait. So it yeah, it has to be. Can we just get the numbers? I'll do the math. You do the numbers. I'll do the math. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> just type the fucking numbers. I'll do the math. <laughs> Four. Goodness gracious. Four one, four one six. I'll just do it this way. Fuck you, you guys. You guys go do it for yourself. Two, <laughs> two five, uh, four. Oh fuck. Four, and then three one two, three one. Oh god, three one two. There we go. We've done it. Something clicked. Did it open? Let's go. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> that looks dangerous. I don't know. What did I just get? Hydrotastic. I got a tank? Okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. We don't. Now we're full again. My inventory, man. It's full of goodies. Too many goodies. One heal. Exactly one. Uh, wait, what is this place? We're in the projection room? Wait, what is this? Buttons? Uh, how to use your Lumalux Infinity Play Projector TM. Insert reel into projector. Press corresponding buttons to start projection. The Lumalux Infinity Play Projector seamlessly loops the film by asynchronously rewinding from the collection reel during playback. Okay. Um. What is this? Puppet Space Quest out of touch with reality. There's nothing particularly wrong with Puppet Space Quest, the latest addition to the My Friendly Neighborhood media franchise. Once again, we join the puppets as they embark on another grand adventure, this time on a journey to find planet Oblong. And once again, they are joined by a hapless B-tier celebrity that provides some dramatic core to the neighbor's antics. It's all well-constructed and even amusing. The problem is that it's just what we've come to expect from Gerswald's felt friends. Um, felt friends. What 
stands out most about the film is the sheer barrenness of the translunar landscape. And I don't mean visually. Here there are no dazzling treasures, celebrity dreams, or gut-wrenching crime sprees to hold the audience's attention. All that space has has is my friendly neighborhood's tired, childish, moral vision. Even when they travel to the other side of the universe, the puppets can only offer the same moth-eaten yarn. Okay. So many words. Davis. Uh, we don't have a film reel, do we? We need to collect one. Uh, cannot carry any of this shit, man. That's the projection room. There's still more to do in there, obviously. Where else can we go? There is also the stage, the live stage. Oh, hi there. What the hell? Go away. Just shocking. Boom. <laughs> get taped. You know what? You get taped. I'm, I'm a menace. And then both of these doors can be unlocked because we have triangle. Buff boy, thank you for the 14. Uh oh. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna get a film reel here. Come over here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I love the shotgun so good. Can we unlock this from the side? It is unlocked. Okay. Now what's in here? We got a goblet. You got another candy bar. The candy bars are nice for just exploring around. Is there even a reason to be here? Can we get a film reel? How many freaking cameras are here, man? You really need to get every single shot. Um, That was it? Okay, this is just a loot room. There is the machine room here, though. This machine room, more ammo in here. Oh, we need the tank. The tank, nice. <laughs> we are, we're too prepared for everything. Quality enterprises. It okay. should fix that elevator. Oh, now we made the elevator. Let's go. Nice. And we get more tape, even though we already have far too much. That's the machine room done. Okay, so that is that. Uh, now we can take the elevator, but w are we done here? I guess we are. Yeah, wait, we did everything. We solved it. I mean, obviously there's a few items here and there, but we are more than healthy and we have more than enough ammo. So I guess it is time to take the elevator to the next area. Wait. Oh, wait, this is also a diamond door. Wait a minute. What is back here? There is diamond stuff. Um, please stop writing on the stall walls. Never. Why did you write the fuck is going on with this guy? Something in the toilet? Nothing in the toilet. Seems a bit counterproductive. Wait, is that the film room? Wait, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. We've been rewarded for backwards exploration. It's too dark in here, man. Oh, what's this? Excuse me? What am I getting here? I'm getting new things. There's a flashlight? Can I pick up the flashlight? I cannot. Hey, what was that? That was... Something. All right. A, a, a thing to unlock a door later. I'm guessing you're going to backtrack later and you're going to go through all these areas. But I might as well do it now because I want to do it now. All right. What movie are, do we... Wait. Do we put it in here? We have the film reel. Put it in. Yes. And then... I have to click specific buttons. Do I? I don't know the combination. Do I? One, two, three. Oh, four. That is not the move. What? <laughs> that does not look like the movie I was expecting. Do I have to click a different code? Wait. What is this one? Let's watch this one because this is the one we just put in. Oh, here we go. Um. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get I, I might have to mute this because this might be copyrighted, even though it's classical music. This Batman. Is he gonna have war flashbacks? Is she depressed? Feels bad, man. Do we go? We go over there. I'm gonna help you out, friend. How are you doing? Why are you crying? Can I help you out? Hello. I'm helping out all the crazy monsters one step at a time. Hello. 
You could eat me whole. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just gonna sit next. Life can get you down sometimes, huh? First time I ever saw a movie as a kid, there was this scene of a man riding into this big blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt, like, like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real. <laughs> so solid. <laughs> Never knew what to make of that. And eventually I forgot about it. I guess during the war I got distracted. Oh. But it just came back to me now. I can't move. There we go. Helped go Gordon helped Goblet. We did it. We're gonna get every every helping the monster achievement. So every level you can help out one of the monsters. That's very cool. All right. Well, now that should be everything. Obviously, there might be some loot here, but the loot doesn't really matter. Uh, that should be everything explored in this area. Now we can take the elevator and don't feel bad about anything. <laughs> um, here we go. Elevator time. Up to the top of the building, maybe? Or is there's probably going to be a step, step in the middle here. Where are we? Another heal? As if we didn't already have a hundred of them. It's Oppenheimer's apple. Do not eat it. You will die. Unlocked. Wait. Oh, more. Oh, this place. Yeah, the waiting room. And then we can uh, stock more of our heals. Because <laughs> look at this shit. Oh, man. I'm going to stash, stash this for now because we only need that all the way at the back when we go back. Which I'm assuming is going to be quite a while from now. I don't know what we need the pump piece for, but... Maybe that'll become clear later. Look at our freaking storage right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven heals. One might say that's too many heals. Um, I would agree with you. Uh, let's save the game. And go back. Because we got to continue here. There's still two. Yeah, you can find more film rolls, maybe. But we can't do that yet. Thank you. Goodness gracious. I would love more tape. Tape is always useful. The head. They're playing with the little puppets. Oh, baby. Another tape? Nope. Cannot pick up the tape. I said everything in here? Yes. Uh, hello? Are you Walt Disney? Or whatever that is for this studio? You are a guard's Wald or whatever the fuck. Wow. Love to have a view like this. Damn, dude, look at this office. <laughs> Sick office. Uh, front door key. Maybe this will unlock the front door. I mean, I would assume so. That's why it's called the front door key. I, I, I was thinking we would go all the way to the top, but I guess we're just going to go through the front door then instead. <laughs> oh my God, what just happened? What was that? <laughs> Someone just broke through the wall. Excuse me. Oh my god! Uh -oh. What the fuck? Uh, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. Um, can you stop shooting shit at me? What is going on? It's shooting bodies at me. Are they all gonna come alive? You're literally stuck. <laughs> what is this guy? <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. <laughs> what? Music? Uh oh. What is happening? Am I gonna get close to you? Am I trying to do that? Oh, I don't think I'm trying to do that. Oopsie daisy. Uh oh. I gotta shoot it? 
Maybe throw a bomb? I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Wait, that did damage. Yes, I think. What the fuck? No, hey, come on. <laughs> Oh, it exploded. All right, well, that yeah, definitely right. did the Get job. <laughs> okay. Well, that did, that, did the, that did the thing real quick. Two bombs, that's all. Those bombs are OP. That's going to be insanely okay, useful Gordon, what's next? for any of the boss fights. There you go. We have done the whole thing. Make your way out of the office, which means that now we can use the tri or the diamond key on the beginning area. I'm really curious. I want to see it. There, there, wait, I don't think this is the door I was thinking about, but what is this? This leads to somewhere. Uh, is this just a shortcut? Oh, this is just a shortcut through here. And then we can open up the back door. That's kind of random. Wait, what's this? Uh, up. Uh oh, um, that looks a little dark and dangerous. Where is this going? Hi. We are in a new area. It's very dark in here. I don't like it. A little spooky. Wait. Oh. Just another way to get in. I see. All right. We found, <laughs> we're finding many different ways to get in. There's also this one right here, which is another triangle. They have the, this, this pacing is so good. Like they really make you want to explore. Uh, wait, this triangle is up here. Up on the. What is this? This is the public parking. Is that where we're going? Let's dude, come on. There's another arrow. Is this going to be another slide? I don't want to go down the slide. Not yet. Triangle. Open it. Power pack, sure. And I open up the public parking. Where's this? This just back to the entrance again. Um, this is just gonna be. A, oh, this is this is where we have to continue. This is where we have to go to the antenna. Okay, so this is where we're we're going. I don't want to go forward yet. I want to first uh, check this area. Uh oh, here! Stop it! What are you guys doing here? You're not supposed to be here. You weren't here last time. What? What's this room? Oh, it's another seat. Okay, well, it's fine. Another cheat code. Okay, so that is literally every single room explored except the one triangle room. So that's the one room we have to return to. But besides that, this area is all done and we can now continue with the story. All right, what kind of monsters are going to be out here? Uh, I really wish they would give me a flashlight for some situations. I guess it's supposed to be dark, but it is truly dark. I don't need this anymore, right? Yeah, I don't need the key anymore. So get rid of it. Oh god, it's a spooky maze. Gonna be enemies. We helped you. Everyone's friendly around here. Can't kill the characters. I mean, you can tie them up. So much stuff everywhere and the map to this area right at the beginning that's way nicer last time we had to wait a while to get it uh oh my god this is a whole new <laughs> type of place uh hedge maze tool shed play castle greenhouse kennels aviary oh and this is from the back so we're gonna loop all the way around and then get out the back this way someone is snoozing around here <laughs> i have too much stuff i'm gonna i guess we just put this away for now, the pump piece, since we probably won't need it. We have far too many bullets. We could use some more of these bullets, though. Just use the shotgun instead. I love the shotgun. I love this section. It's the most fun. So far, it's all been extremely good. <laughs> Done a lot since last save. I don't know when I saved. I'm just clicking the buttons, man. They're broadcasting. We got to stop them. Where are you going? Where do you think? What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death or eaten. 
Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. I'm just doing my job. Uh-huh, sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No? So this you were so deep. born a bully? I'm not a bully! Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. Or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defenses. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems like exactly the sort of place you got. Ooh, that gets on his nerves, huh? <laughs> Do not talk about the war. This is the... The character development. Gordon has some has some uh, backstory. Oh, unlocked. What is this? Oh, it's just back to the back to that area. This place is incredible, by the way. Holy shit! It doesn't work. It's it's that's just the worst place of all time. Actually, never mind. <laughs> How is a kid supposed to use this? It doesn't even work. Wait, um, I, I didn't mean to actually go out here. Where? Uh-oh, what, what was, was that? that? That's what I'm saying. Hello? I am missing a battery, I see. Is that a doggy? I have a shotgun and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay, there's no power. We're going underground now. I don't like that. It's just gonna be, wait, there's so many different areas here. What the fuck? Oh God, this is... This is overwhelming, the exploration in here. We need the triangle key here. All right, we should be methodical so we don't have to backtrack too much. More news. A horrifying sacrifice. Last night, I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war when one of the stories jumped out at me. In one operation, a splatoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers Supporting the tunnel began to fall until a private Joshua Hart Hartwright uh, caught it on his shoulders. As he held up the wood, his friends scrambled out under the outstretched arm under his outstretched arms until after everyone else was out, he let go and the tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. Feels bad, man. When I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions, pity for the waste of human life, anger at the injustices of war, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration to lay down your life for someone else, to lose everything, to have to, the veil torn, and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't do... And if you don't, do they call you a coward? I like how every one of these stories is like, do you, should you be selfless or should you not be selfless? And the different situations in which you should or shouldn't be. They're, uh, I mean, it's obviously pretty on the nose how they're telling the story, but I don't mind it. Uh, that's everything in here. Seems to be the overarching plot. All right, we should quickly, what is this area? There's like nothing in here, but is there a doggy? Hello, doggy. There's no doggy. There's like actual city sounds. <laughs> Didn't even realize it because it's so normal. All right, can we go into six? We can go into here. Oh, the greenhouse. How many plants? Uh, what the, the triangle key? You use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. Oh, I see. Maybe, okay. Um, sometimes jam clogs up the hotel elevator. If this happens, you can unstick it by applying this compound. Step one, add the following into the mixing station bottles. Jug of Lumalux film developer. Gallon weed out weed killer. Tub of virtuoso trumpet polish. Okay. Turn on the water. Yeah, we got to do all this stuff, but we don't know that yet. Take that with us and take the key. Triangle key has been acquired. Uh, or can we already do this now? I'm assuming we're gonna have to collect these things, right? Wait, what did it tell me we should use? Um, yeah, we need these things and then we need red, green, blue, blah, blah, blah. So we just need to need to grab those things first. Uh, and we can now check all the triangle doors, which there were once again triangle doors in the previous area as well. Were in there in the office area? Was there also triangles? I don't remember. 
There's another battery. I love how they just type this off so you don't go check all of them. Uh, the City Tribune. Lifestyle opinion column. Somehow, life in the city doesn't seem as enjoyable as it once was. And I don't just mean because of the economy. I feel a burning, burning anxiousness, a constant sense of missing something that saps the enjoyment from my normal activities and makes everyday discomforts almost intolerable. On the subway, people's elbow, elbows jab into your personal space. Angry pedestrians yell at you on the street. Hey, I'm walking here. When I finally get home from work and snap on the television, I breathe a sigh of relief. Compared to the world outside, television is safe, predictable. I can choose what to watch and avoid what feels uncomfortable. For a few moments, I can escape the anxiousness and become lost in a world of pleasant dreams. Uh, this thing. Yes, this thing. Okay. Put it in. Now what does this do? Follow the cable. Turn on the downwards elevator. Let's go deep into the basement. I don't know if this is a good idea. There's some fat batteries. Yeah, I don't know if that's true numbers. Oh, oh, come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, we're back here. Oh, but there were doors with the triangle here. Where are we exactly? We're over here. We got to open these doors. I like how they tie these areas together. They don't make them feel overwhelming, but they do reuse the areas. It's just like one of them. Um, I usually don't like retra retracing the same areas, but they actually have done it in a fun way. All right, you guys all suck. I don't have any tape though, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we got to get over here. Okay, here's a triangle. There's also a dude here. Triangle. Aha, it's just loot. The other side for the... Wait a minute, it's... What? Are you okay? I can definitely make space for this. Okay. Uh, there's another one though, right next to this. Through this one. No, 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 no. no. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, and then we're gonna get another tape for the music or for the for the video projector room. A new wave. The uh, business news bites. City has been has seen a recent economic downturn as a new wave of corporations has emerged, characterized by aggressive policies that place profits before the well-being of consumers. One such corporation, Nebuzaradan enterprises has been acquiring real estate at a rapid pace in many cases evicting the current tenants as part of a program to reshape the city into a community more conductive to its business practices can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs said ronald rich rich Bauscher, ceo of nabuzaradan what a name dude in a recent interview while it may be painful for some we are helping to create a city that can withstand the future sure thing uh, a single one of these has got to be able to... Oh, let's go! The Lumalux! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to get a film reel from here. With that. No, there's still more in here. Uh, there it is. There you are going to get a film reel, but it's too big. We can make space, right? If we... I think we can. Put this like this. The puzzle. My least favorite puzzle, but we got it. Boom. It's four. And then we have another video. Is that going to make someone else cry? Is everyone going to start crying? <laughs> Please don't cry at my movies. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. Goodbye. What the fuck? All right. So that is... Uh, that's all that. There's still this door over here. I, I'm going to go check out that door. Oh, this is Ray's lair. Uh-huh. I see. Are we gonna do your hey, side quest? Hey, Hello. Not gonna fix it. Um, what? Can I just spin the giant wheel? I can't. I can't spin the giant wheel. I need the pump plug! <laughs> Fuck, now I have to go back to get the fucking pump. Okay, it's fine. We got it at least. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. We got the damn thing. Now what's gonna happen? Do we need two of them? Okay, we don't. Now we can spin the wheel. Uh oh. 
Uh, that seems like a mistake. I'm making garbage soup. Yucky, yucky. What do you want? Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. I, I, I just... Look, when, when you've got a problem, you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix anything. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Um, I'm going now. Let's go. We helped them. Hey, another one. Gordon helped Ray. Man, we're, we're going for that 100% playthrough for sure. All right, nice. Another one. There's some loot here, though, on the ground in the lockers. Thank you. I'm not going to leave unrewarded. Cool. He was a friend after all. All the big mon... The bigger the monster, the more likely they are to be friends. That's, that's apparently what it is. Now, I think that's everything, right? That's everything in this area. Uh... Now we just go back. We we need to go over there, but this damn dog is in the way. No, no. I'm friend. I can't crouch or anything. Oh. Yeah, okay. As long as you don't get close to them, they don't attack you. Alright. Be friendly. Boom. Now open the big door. There we go. The birds. Um, what are you guys doing in here? There is lots of loot in there. Oh my god. It is the loot heaven. Tools too. We have a secondary toolbox. An extra storage. In case the first storage wasn't enough. Use index. What does that mean? I'm gonna save the game here because I don't know what we're gonna do in here. Uh, I'll use the heal station. I have way too many things anyway. Is this gonna be, a, is gonna be something special here? What is this thing? Use this. Oh! Oh, it's money. I paid for a bomb. I see. Uh -huh. Another battery. Did we need that somewhere? I don't think we... Maybe this is another way to get the battery in case you didn't do what I did. Uh, there's a cable going up here. So this one is turned on. Can I use... Can I turn on... Can I swap out the battery? Because this seems broken. I can't seem to swap out the battery. I guess I'll just leave it on and we'll check around. Maybe we gotta power up another one. Oh, this one, we gotta power up this one first. I, I missed this one. Yes, okay, power that one up. But I'm still missing one. This one, where does the cable start? Cable goes down here. Hello birds, just don't shoot the birds. This way. This one is turned on. Oh. Aha. I see. Okay, I, I should not turn them on. What is this? This is the birdhouse? Or the big bird? Um. Oh, we're in a new area. Sure thing. I'm not quite sure if that was what I had to do there, but I'll take it. These no doggies. I don't want I don't want no doggies. There's loot in here. Very dark though. Can't really see it. The doggy houses. Oh! Aha! We take the dog food and then we don't have dog trouble anymore. Let's go! <laughs> okay. This is this is amazing. No more shooting the dogs. No more wasting all my ammo on doggies. That doesn't even kill them. Can feed the doggy. Uh, oh, I'm going into the shadows, but it's actually a new area. Uh, I'm in the scenic department. And another cheat. Found five cheats, cheat tapes. Achievement. Any reason to be here? I already explored everything. I should unlock that door. All right, I'm just gonna blast my way through here to unlock the door. No, you weren't supposed to notice that. All right, there. Unlock the door. Everything else here is done. We don't have to go back. This would have been a way to go back this way to get the room A, but we already did that the long way. 
Okay, so that was the first thing. That was just exploring this back area. And now we need to move the switches around in a different way. Are they all going to be red, maybe? Oh, that opened up that. Oh, baby. It's loot time. Is this the mother load? It's the fucking mother load. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It's too much. It's simply too much. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Let me take... Holy shit. All right, and now we can figure out our inventory here. It's like two heals, but then we're going to be full. We're just going to use this dog food, right? So the dogs are going to... Like, this is going to be out of my inventory soon here. Oh, wait, can we place the dog food over here? Yes. Are they all going to come running? Stop attacking me. Ding, ding for food. They're oh, yeah, there. Ding, ding. Nice. There they go. Oh, you better stop attacking me. Are they friendly? Let's go. See, you're not so bad. <laughs> hey, they're happy. Happy doggies. Are you going to give me something? You, we need many ingredients. Oh, no, he's just going to sleep. Gordon, help the dogs. Look at that. We're getting so many achievements. How many achievements are there in this game? There might be quite a few. Um, oh, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> 40 achievements total. A lot to explore, apparently. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's see. This is where we're going to find the trumpet oil. I'm assuming. But then we still don't know where the weed killer is. Oh, God. Uh, hi, friends. I have a shotgun, and I'm not afraid to use it. I also got a bunch of tape, so I might as well tape you guys. Um, more heals. If we did not we have far too many heals. More lore. ABC Market Research. In recent years, television viewership has surged and television programming has multiplied and diversified. As broadcasters scramble to capitalize on a rapidly growing audience, new favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity. As the war generation ages and their children begin to enter the ranks of adulthood, imitate their parents' viewing habits. In the same period, however, my friendly neighborhood's ratings have plummeted. While sur surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children, preferring instead more mainstream offerings like Dinosaur Mayhem. This has prompted the City Network's broadcasting group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of its series. And they decided to go crazy. Busy in the... Blah, 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 blah. Nice, nice cup. They must be selling it. Like, I know that's like the meme with mascot horror game that they sell merch. I wonder if this company even bothered selling merch. Hi there, friend. <laughs> I exploded that. Anything in here? What are we doing back here? That's it. The virtuoso. Nice. This is just like the exploring uh, chapter. Okay, so we got two of three. We just need to find the damn weed killer. Uh, but there's also shortcut room back here or can I not go there? This room? This is all blocked off. I can't go there. I'm guessing that's gonna be later. Hi there, dude. I'm not gonna tape you because I don't really have a reason to. Okay, so that's that. Let's also go to the projector room now and play the tape since we're here anyway. Here we go. Play the movie on number three. What's this gonna be? Please don't start crying. Um. <laughs> oh, it's a code. Seven. Twelve. I don't know if this is relevant, but remember it. Seven, twelve, four. Seven, twelve, four. <laughs> what? It's a color movie. Is that it? Oh, it's just... Okay, that must be relevant then, because that's the whole thing. 7, 12, 4. I don't remember seeing a safe with a code combination. Also, what is this last item that's in here? This is this. That every... No, there's more. Uh, oh, God. Oh, there's so much loot in here, apparently. Or maybe it's just because we have one more puzzle to solve here. Probably that's it. All right, can this movie shut up? Let's play the... Play this movie. You have two doors. Oh, yeah, there's one more door here. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't see this. 
Wait, it's literally just here. The the statue room has a okay, I see. Oh my god, what are you guys doing in here? I'm just Sorry, I have to shoot all of you guys even though I didn't really have to. Uh Dabby, thank you for the two. This is the last room. I think this is the last room that's that's locked with a triangle, so I'm gonna assume that the weed killer is in here. Why would there be weed killer in a conference room though? Or maybe there's gonna be a safe in here. Oh, all the money. Um, what is this place? Are you making? You're typing down what people are saying. It can't be just that, right? Wait, what? I walked that way to get two coins. That's it. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. What a complete waste of space. <laughs> Why? Hi there. Wait, what if I walk? I am curious. What if I walk during red light? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, okay. They literally just trolled me. All right. Well, there's one more triangle over here. Uh, this must have the, the thing that we're missing. Because there's a key. The playground key. Uh-huh. I see. All righty. So now we have the fucking playground key. That feels... This is, I don't like this. This feels stupid. Like, this is the, some, like, level of backtracking that I feel was kind of unnecessary. But whatever. It is what it is. Uh, we can get in here now. Finally. And then there's gonna be... Why would there be weed killer in a playground? That seems very irresponsible. Uh, but I'm assuming that's where we're gonna find it. What is this? Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, come on. We have to... Okay. We have to go around everywhere to figure out where all these people are. Okay. Let's see. So, in the play... In the playground. Can we open this? We cannot. There's four people in the play... Uh, house. Where are they? We need to remember. We have you, Lady Green Hair lady green hair we have guy with are these the top people i think these are the top people are they down here there'll be one down here wait no i love these things by the way where you can like talk to someone on the other side of the playground okay so there's blue guy okay blue guy at the bottom so it's blue guy green wait yes and then down here who's down here Wait, is there no one down here? Where's he on the side? Okay, there we go. Big bird. Big bird, yellow, green hair, uh, ray. That's the first, that's the playhouse part. Let's fill those in before we forget them. Okay, so you're, how do I change? You're the green, green hair, then ray, yellow, and bird okay so that's this and then we just got to go around for these okay so in the maze we have first of all the sock puppet then here's these guys then we have you and pink eye that should be it there you go the door has unlocked thank you for the weed killer okay that this puzzle right here was my least favorite that that felt unnecessarily drawn out but hey we did everything now we gotta make the concoction Alrighty, how the hell do we do this? Let's see. We do. Add the following into the mixing station bottles. So we need one jug. We have everything in our one jug of Luma. I'm assuming I just click it. There. Is that it? We put it in? Is it out of our inventory? Yes. Okay, so they are all put in. I don't need these anymore. Um, and now we need to solve this. I also don't need the playground key anymore inventory space thank you very much um okay turn on the water using the tap we're gonna make some crystal meth here um check then press the following buttons for the indicated time one to two seconds red green okay let's do that uh red and green needs to be one second one one mississippi two mi there. Oh, wait, I have to do them in order. Whoops. That didn't sound good. I have to... <laughs> Should check the directions. Whoops. 
I thought it, I thought it was just the length. It didn't have. I, I didn't realize it had to be in order to. All right. One Mississippi boom. Then one Mississippi boom. Um, next one. Wait, can I not leave? Next one is three Mississippis for blue and two Mississippis for green. All right. Or wait. Three blue. That's like so specific. Uh, three blue, two green. Okay. Three blue, two green again. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, boom. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, boom. I did it. I'm insane. Mississippi helps me once again. Um, that's it. Is that how we do? Now we got it. We have the... And now we can take the elevator. The big elevator. Is that gonna... Is this, is this it? Leads all the way to the top. We've done the damn thing. All right, where is this gonna lead? I haven't saved, so I hope we're not gonna face Why? a giant boss get immediately. This get this done. Uh, it's probably gonna be a whole new area though. I'm curious. What's it gonna be? Oh. Are they not gonna give me a save point? Uh, I'm a little scared. I have three heals two bombs will probably be fine right maybe maybe not we'll see what's in here oh uh hi it's a nice looking place excuse me that music's gonna drive me crazy i have to solve your puzzle we gotta go around solving your damn puzzle so you stop playing the cursed. Ad there we go, a save station. Okay. Um, this place is so colorful. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, another coin. I love how they put those in the safe station room every time, so you'll never be, uh, you'll never be out of uh, out of saves. Oh boy, uh, well, same video for you guys. New day for us though, so bear with us if we're a little confused. What's going on here? Uh, we are in a very weird looking area. This is at the top of the tower, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, we don't even have a map of this yet. We, we literally just entered this area, so we just gotta check around. Uh, it is locked. This area is locked. Also, I can barely hear the game. There we go, that's better. Uh, what do we got? Uh, intern... On Arnold's imagination penthouse evening. When Ricky enters, Arnold's penthouse is in utter chaos. Ch furniture is lying upside down. Cardboard sheets are pulled off the wall. Art is lying on the floor. Arnold is in the corner, digging around inside his chest. Ricky, Arnold, what is going on here? Are you looking for something? Arnold looks up. Cat! You've lost your cat. Have you looked everywhere for her? Yes! Have you looked in the kitchen, the bedroom, the pa patio? I always forget how you pronounce that word. He waddles over to the piano and holds out a sheet of music to Ricky. I wrote song. I see. I take it you want me to sing this. As a reply, Arnold begins to play the piano. Ricky sings the song. Song lament for cat. My cat is gone. I am sad. Where are you, cat? Cat, 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 cat. You are not in your bed. <laughs> the, what the fuck? Um... What the hell is going on out here? What is this absolutely terrible music that you're playing? Hello there. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> are you the... Shut up! All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> this guy is annoying as fuck. What is he doing? The silver, thank you for the two. Um, all right, anyway, do I have any more ammo for this gun? Because it's... Oh my god, I forgot how much loot we got in this game. Take that with me. Um, I don't need three heals. We'll stash that. This key is completely done. So buy key. And then we already got some, in, uh, some inventory left over. There's a coin. Thank you very much. How are we doing in this room? I can't see. We don't have a map for this room. It is locked from the other side. Um, what the fuck did I just do? I got blue. I'm blue. Dabba dee dabba da. Soda. Use. Yes. Tasty, but unremarkable. Are we gonna try? I'm gonna try out all of them. It's out of pop. It's out of pop. No more pop. We should have tried. We should have tried a specific one. I'm gonna get the bad ending now because I didn't drink the right one. Uh, can I go past you as to avoid your terrible music? This is freaking 
What a what a bar <laughs> what a freaking piece of shit. Oh, aha! Another key just like that? You give that to me? Oh, you lock me in though. Oh, let me guess. I have to I see. Huh. That is just literally cardboard. Can we break it? Can't we just take this key and break the cardboard? Come on, man. It, the bar is blocking it from opening. It's cardboard, Gordon. Use your freaking noggin. You dummy. <laughs> There's fake fire here. <laughs> oh, boy. This is actually going to drive me insane. All right, well, I guess we have to keep this here for now. Or is there any other way out of here? Maybe we got to get around. Let me guess. We're going to open up the bookshelf, and it's going to be a secret passageway. Also, you're looking mighty dead. We're just going to check all these rooms. You went AFK that you miss anything important. We literally just started. I mean, if you missed yesterday, you missed like uh, the first part of the game. What do we got here? Ants. There's no wait. What? I need this. Come on. <laughs> uh, what is going on here? Uh, we have milk plus microwave makes cheese. Cheese. This is like one of those shitty po puzzles that I hate. Tomato plus knife makes ketchup. I get that. Ketchup plus microwave makes hot sauce. That is totally how hot sauce works. Hands to house means don't see for 20 seconds means bean soup. Bean soup plus hot sauce plus banana plus blue door. Five seconds equals key. All right. Well, this is one elaborate recipe. Let's see if we can make it work, huh? So we need to clear up our inventory, first of all. There, look at that. Look at that space. Beautiful space. And then what do we do? So we need milk and we need C. What is C? Is that microwave? I'm assuming it's microwave. So let's just take the milk from up there. Thank you very much. We got milk. And then is this the C? I can put milk on there. Is this <laughs> oh, here, this thing. Yes, I will put milk in the microwave. <laughs> Wait, this is so stupid. I love it. All right, do I? Oh. I made cheese! That's not how that works, but I'll take it. Okay, and then we need knife, which is in here. Oh, no, that's a... I don't even know what that's called um, in English. Where's knife? Knife. There's knife. Give me knife. Gordon Ramsay over here. Give me the knife. Thank you very much. Oh, we put this down. We knife it. Chop it. How does cheese chop become banana? Wait, I didn't even realize how insane this recipe is. Wait, what? How does that work? <laughs> All right, I, I didn't I needed to make that right. Yeah, okay. Well, we got a banana now. I'm not quite sure how but sure then we need to chop tomato Tomato chop it make ketchup that that one at least makes somewhat sense then we need uh, Ketchup in this nope, and then we make a hot sauce Then we need bean cans or whatever that goes to the this thing Put it on there I'm making them. Give me this. We're, we're multitasking right now. The lamb sauce is fucking raw. Uh, we got the hot sauce already. Now we're just waiting. We're 20. Oh, we need to wait for a specific amount of time. We want. I need to put it on there. Oh, I need to not look for 20 seconds. Is that what I'm doing here? I need to not look. Like, leave for 20 seconds. Come back. And then it's... Oh, God. We're standing in this shitty ass room. <laughs> okay. Erebus, thank you for the two. 20 seconds is gonna be... Let's check the other rooms while we're waiting for this thing. Grace, thank you for the 2,000 biddies. Thank you. I love this place. What? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm playing video games. Switch game! Go. Um, Switch. Oh my god, it's my favorite game. It's my favorite game of all time is the Switch game. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, what's this game? It's the jump game! Jump. It's so fun. It's so fun. It's the best game ever made. What else do we got? It's the car game. I am. Okay, I see. Yep. All right. Nice one. <laughs> anyway, get me out of here. I should probably check this before it's gonna, before it's gonna explode. Is it done? It is done. Thank you very much. Who is our orchestrating all of this? Okay, so now we have the whole thing. We need to go to Blue Door. What? Blue door for five or in here. Aha. Okay. We put what? It needs to go in there, right? For five. How the fuck does this work? Um. 
Does it matter where I put it? I'm gonna put it in there. Put that in there. And then that. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna put that in the fridge there. And then we're gonna... I want to check more about the computer, but I also want to check over here. Oh, you're gonna attack me? Me. Real looker here. Mommy must be proud. <laughs> Damn. Get roasted. Roasted by Gordon. Can I open? Oh, I need the key. I need the, the purple key to open these things. I love how they're just going insano mode and they don't even care. And uh, we got the map. Thank you very much. All right, I only needed to wait for like five seconds or something, but I want to play more computer games. Well, maybe let's see if it's actually done. Let's see if this worked. Oh, you're finally stopped. Wait, what? You're still going ham, but it, it's not making it any more. Oh, come on. <laughs> System list. Thank you for the prime. Oh, there. What? I made the key. I made the key. All right. Well, that that makes total sense if you think about it. Not hard enough though. Not not very hard though. All right, we got a key now. Anyway, let's check around. This guy's annoying. Interesting recipe. I want to do more with the computer. What else can we do here? Oh, it's it's freaking Bert and Ernie. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's totally. I mean, I know it's Norman and whatever the hell June bug or something. It's MFN. That's significant. No, it's uh, the guy eating or the one of the monsters. And what's this? Oh, we get logs. Where are my socks? Fish, 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 fish. To do, find my cat. We already knew about that. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? And then we lock the... Com oh, no. I locked the computer. Wait, you want... Sounded like that came from the other room. What am I doing? Wait, I opened up. Wait a minute. No way. <laughs> Wait, I opened up a, a secret thing because there were paintings in here, right? Wait, there were paintings in here somewhere. I opened up something. I don't think there is. There's any. Oh, wait, this. My art, Arnold. One. Two. That's nice. Wait, are these are there numbers associated with this or is it just they just numbered it for no reason? Uh get absolutely taped. Okay, I, I what is what's going on? Where am I supposed to find this? Oh hi there. Um I think it's gonna be in this room. You are very tanky, but now you're dead. Uh oh. You are extremely squishy. Wait, never mind, you're not. I'm gonna tape you, but I don't have tape for the other guy. I didn't even check these. A puzzle piece? Wait a minute. I remember seeing a puzzle somewhere. Uh, and also, did we open anything in here? Can I... That's the secret book. It looks like a key slot. How about you use the key then? Oh, wait. I need to get... Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Wait a minute. <laughs> you know we're gonna we're gonna do Indiana Jones over here. We're gonna... I, I don't know where this painting is open. It's probably gonna be in there, but I really want to do this right now. We are gonna... Uh... Oh, oh, those are what I opened. Okay, I see. Uh, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna put in this key instead <laughs> to let us out, dude. The old switcheroo. Or can I use this key on the cardboard though? Like, what am I gonna? Because there were these things. Uh, yes, this one. Aha! And there's another. Uh, so we're looking for puzzle pieces. I'm guessing. You're t oh, you're totally right. Yeah, these were first paintings. Okay, so these got opened and now I have access to these area. That was a little unclear, but that's probably my fault. Secret door. Serial plane, thank you for the 25. Oh, we're behind the scenes. We're not supposed to be here. At least the music finally stopped. Make it stop. Finally, no more. You're safe. In the back rooms. Oh. Uh, what the fuck? This does not have collision. This is not a swimming pool. This is fake. Alright, shock and time. Can I double shot you guys? Oh, come on. Wonder what happens when I what now? 
You are actually fucked up. It's the tankiest mf -er of all time. They're playing uh, happychildren.mp4 out of the... Or mp3. Out of the speakers. What the fuck? Love the look of this game. This is a very different looking section than any of the other places we've been to. Oh no! No! Anyone remember the exact combination of these? Cause we've seen these on the computer or in the art book. Um, I know this was two. Wait a minute. I know, I've seen this one. The fruit was five. I, rem I don't remember this one. I think, I don't remember the tree. The star shape, but can we, can we deconstruct this? The star, this one was four, you're telling me? Triangle, square, this one is first. Let's see. Press, then I'm pretty sure the cat was two. Cat was two. Then, uh, does anyone remember three? You, I gotta go back, the, the squares. Oh yeah, this one. This one. I don't know if I'm doing this right. It doesn't seem to do anything at all. Then we have the this one. Yes. And then the fruit. We are actually insane. Our collective memory was <laughs> was good enough to solve this puzzle. Let's go. Damn, dude. Well done. <laughs> We're gamers. Uh what what even is this place? Like, is this... Is this just one crazy... Fi fictional universe? Uh, box office report. A puppet winter song, the eighth film in My Friendly Neighborhood's franchise, opened over the holiday weekend to an underwhelming 1.4 million box office, signaling that the film will fall far short of recovering its $25 million budget. Uh-uh-oh. Are we gonna fight a boss? I'd really just like a cheeseburger to go. That's the menu? <laughs> the menu says that? Ooh, more ammo. Same, to be honest. Although they're just playing nature sounds through here. All right, can we actually? Yes, we can now see these areas. Is this? Oh God. Shut up. I love how they just stop talking when they get blasted. <laughs> like, damn, dude. Echo, thank you for the thank you for the seven. Alright, uh, we already opened this one, right? Yes, okay. Um how are we doing? We have one this one's done, apparently, so I'm gonna just discard that. We have one, two, three, four pieces, which might be enough, but there's also still something left in this room, so let's check that real quick. This game is fun. It is really fun. Like, there were a few backtracking sections which were kind of tedious at the end of yesterday, but overall, it's just been a great experience. Uh, especially like how they gave each character, like, an actual character rather than just make all the enemies kind of indistinguishable. Um, like, there's some of the large uh, creatures where you can, like, actually befriend them and stuff by doing their quests. There's still something in this room. Oh, yeah, this is literally where it is, lol. And we need only four pieces. Boom. Oh. Hi. You don't like to be seen? If you didn't stop banging on the piano like that, my ears were gonna start bleeding. Play duet. Uh, no. Play duet? Play duet. I can't read music. <laughs> Get off Oh, me. God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, um. <laughs> we love you. Is that canon? <laughs> Yamahi. <laughs> Great. Sounds good, buddy. What's the fuck? For Ellie. Oh yeah, for Ellie's. Um, I used to have a piano or a keyboard where I would play songs, but the way I would learn the song, because I never had any professional lessons, the way I would learn songs is by 
my my keyboard could play the songs like on its own showing you which keys were being pressed like it wouldn't actually press the keys but it show, showed you so then i would place post-it notes with like numbers on them like in which order the keys were supposed to be pressed and then i would just press the keys in the right order <laughs> with like two fingers <laughs> oh, yes, I... oh man those are the good old days uh anyway we're good we, we solved the puzzle now we gotta flip the lever yeah i never learned how to properly play piano though boom Oh, we're, it's a lift. You made your own tab and watching YouTube. I mean, when I was a child, there was no such thing as looking it up. Like when you were stuck in a Game Boy game, you just like have to ask your friends. And if they didn't have the same game, you were just fucked. There was nothing you could do. <laughs> you were just never finishing that game. There's still games I've never finished because I just... As a child, I there was no internet to look up things, so you just got stuck. And as an adult, I never like went back and was like, "Oh yeah, wait a minute, I can just look up what I'm supposed to do." No, that's that's sacrilege. You can't do that. That's not allowed. Uh, Mr. Gerswald, which is the owner of the company, I think we are writing to inform you that effective immediately, the show My Friendly Neighborhood has been cancelled and the production company MFN Studio has been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppets, performers, and the studio lot, regain the prop remain the property of the City Network Broadcasting Group. All employees have until close of business on Friday, July 2nd, 22nd, to vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Blacksell, Vice President of Programming City Network Broadcasting Group. Damn, they all got fired. Everyone got fired. Um, roof access? I want to click the big button. Stop. Internal error. Could not terminate broadcast. I guess I'll go out and do it myself. Okay. What? Oh, the roof access. We're at the top. I didn't realize the elevator went so tall. Or went so high. Pack. Can I go over here? I cannot go over here. It really should give... I mean, I guess maybe a flashlight would have just been unnecessary. But there's some really dark sections where I'm like, where am I supposed to be able to see something? Because I can't see shit. Uh, can I take pick up this ladder? Um, hello the knee the 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 ankle high ladder is oh here this ladder. I didn't know that How are they gonna tie this whole game together? I'm actually really curious. There's multiple endings apparently I've been told uh, Bye and I thank you for the sub The Nintendo Power... I mean, Nintendo Power, I never read that. I know that it had, like, cheat codes and stuff in it. Like, I still remember there was, like, a Metabots game that I have never finished because at one point, I just... Because the thing is that you don't realize if you're in English, like, if you're native English, that, like, 99% of games are just in English or, like, I don't know, Japanese. And we, as a child, were playing games without knowing a single word. Sometimes I would ask my parents, like, could you read this text? And then I would, like, and then they would read the text if it was important. But, like, 99% of the time, we were just mashing A without any clue on what the fuck was going on. <laughs> That is, that's the life as a, as a non-native English speaking child and playing video games. That's how I learned English, by just playing as me, like, enough video games to the point where I just, uh, like, eventually started recognizing words. <laughs> what the hell? Why do you walk like- This is not how you're supposed to use this ladder. This is making me uncomfortable. It is the very tippy top. What's gonna happen now? Valencia, I think you for the 13. Don't look down. The music will stop. Oh, Gordon, you don't have to do this. I don't want you broadcasting, Ricky. You're gonna hurt kids. Hurt them? Gordon, we want to help them. 
They need us. You need us. For what? For what? Gordon, look at this city. The buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. <laughs> it's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. I don't think that's you, Ricky. Feels bad, man. You know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. Why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Ricky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon. We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem, Ricky. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits care about anything except their bank account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Come on, Gordon. We both know. <laughs> Deep down, you want to be friendly. He's got me thinking. Sorry, Ricky. Gordon? Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm dead? I'm in hell? There's no way. <laughs> so I'll take it, though. In a like knee high okay. pile of trash from Where top of a we? building. Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course, of course. All your bones would have been pulverized into dust. Assassin's Creed logic. Yeah, true, true, true. Oh, uh oh. Yeah! Um. Oh. The heck? What? Uh, uh-oh. I don't like it anymore. I thought we were being wholesome and shit. Now it's all cursed. <laughs> unfriendly, unfriendly. Nice. Safe station. Uh, okay. Well, I could put one of the... Maybe I shouldn't put any of these heels away if they're gonna be this angry. But I'm just gonna... Oh, and there's a second toolbox as well, but we don't need that right now. And how much loot could you have had? I guess if you haven't used anything, like if you were just using the wrench the whole time, you'd have infinite amounts of loot. Uh, driven by a restless spirit, I go upon the roof and there above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars, pure and beautiful and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me, like I'm looking into a wondrous other world I have forgotten. And as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me, something that says, I am with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. That's reflection part two. Can't go in there. It's so dark I'll probably trip over a stage light. Okay, I guess. Emergency lockdown? What the hell? Hello? Hello? Gordon? I'm alive. Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. So, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hoped you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. I but see. But it wasn't amazing. Uh-oh, they watched it the news. <laughs> mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us. Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. No, of course it is. Uh oh. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna make you into a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham blam fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC one, two, three. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Gordon's so grumpy all the time. Flashlight! I was literally just complaining about this. What the hell? 
We have finally, after all these years, they give us a damn flashlight. Look at that. <laughs> we we can now see. Oh boy. Oh now this is like the <laughs> the scariest section of the game. I'm ready. I don't know if I am ready. The unfriendly neighborhood. No. The unfriendly neighborhood. <laughs> Uh oh, low. Is... No one's talking down here. They're just ready, waiting to eat me alive. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Hello, hello, hello. Um, I would have to use a bomb here. It didn't do anything. Run! Okay, I can't kill them. I can't kill them. They can't be killed. Holy shit. Hi there. Run! Help, help. Is this a boss? Can I actually fight you? I've done it. I've done it. Run! Uh, uh, please stay away. Can I kill you? Come on, you can do better. What? Maybe I am. Tell your friends that. Get wrecked. What the frick? How tanky are you? Am I not supposed to kill you? Ah! I don't have enough ammo for this. Music is sick though. This is doing like nothing. I did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyone else? No. I feel bad. That's actually that scene of the face of the island. Oh, there we go. Of the eyeless uh, monsters running at you was absolutely cursed. What the fuck? Uh, hello? Are they still there? I hope they're not there. Get me out of here. Can I wait? Inspect? Hey, can I get any loot? I'm just, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. This place is spooky. Um, also. There's one thing that I should figure out because I know so the way the endings work in this game. Let me see uh, The way the endings work is that once you get an ending you can't re Replay at all. So what I want to do is take a backup at some point to Make sure that we can replay so we can see the other ending. So let me see my friendly neighborhood save file location I don't know if there's gonna be a clear indication of when there's like a point of no return um, but at least we have one now just in case uh, Can we go here we can Arcadia, thank you for the sub for the gift sub Are there gonna be more of these cursed ass puppets? I have I should really be getting my ammo out of the storage, huh? Dear children, I'm sorry to announce that this will be our final episode I wanted to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we are gone a world can be a hard, can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong because the world is broken and we're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly, and there's nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, no fame. What we need is for a light beyond our world, the light that is also love, to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light. So the message I want to leave with you is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary. Sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong. Because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. And when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But have faith in the light because the light will rescue you from the darkness. Uh, that's very deep. And he, wait, it was just like a live, he, he read it out here live in front of, in front of the cameras. 
the very top of the building another cheat you got so many damn cheats these kids are six i don't think they understand uh very very fair argument wait we're back here excuse me oh wait we i thought we were the you know we were we fell all the way down into the basement this feels a little too easy to be true i may be running into another boss fight here that i have absolutely no ammo for but we'll see there's there probably was a bunch of ammo around that boss arena there i'm not maybe <laughs> Like, what if you get to that point with only a wrench? Oh, you did it. Yummy. Yumi, thank you for the 20. Getting morning? Is it a friendly day or an unfriendly day? Where's Ricky gonna come from? Gordon! Oh, uh, there. <laughs> Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handy man extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's I, really what? old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. <laughs> and on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? I'm Gordon, getting a promotion. Do I look like a sock that would kid? Yes. <laughs> I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. Besides, look at how much you've helped us just since you got here. I talked to the other puppets. Reviews are dazzling. Let's go. What if you end up like them? You I made all the right choices. The ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? what okay well i i actually accidentally made the save file at the perfect time all right <laughs> we we're gonna be a friendly neighbor of course of course yes <laughs> we've been friends with all of them come on fine we'll give it a shot <laughs> Whoa, let's go Gordon, i'm so glad we will have such fun i'm not living here though well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 Arrivederci. Ciao. Well, Brian, what have you done this time? Uh-oh. Oh, I helped here. the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. How? It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. <laughs> Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show, some people hated it. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Of course, after my boss found out I was involved, <laughs> I got fired. Why? But somehow... I feel a little hopeful about it. It's hard to describe. It's like you've been lost in a tunnel until suddenly a voice calls your name. And you turn around and you see the rising sun. And it's so bright, maybe it hurts a little to look at. But you don't care because it's leading you home. What the heck? This is too wholesome. That was amazing. <laughs> we got a pretty awesome ending. I saw people saying it wasn't the best one, but it's that, it seems like a pretty damn good ending. Let's go. Wait, we got the true ending? <laughs> was it the best ending? It wasn't. It was. Let's go. I'm insane, dude. Best ending first try. <laughs> that was fun. What a great game.
So we're gonna check out the other endings as well. So uh, just wait for a second, but I want to hear the song. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. <laughs> How many people worked on this, man? That game lived up to everything I was hoping. It was so much better than I thought. Oh, baby. <laughs> So Let's Bob. Get out and make this day laugh. Alex Papa? What a name, dude! Come on, we all are waiting for you. So come to Pam. Have a week for you and me. The friendly neighborhood. No bugs either there. I think I like there were some yeah. clipping issues here and there, but like barely anything. Oh, I uh, think I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? <laughs> Can we go back to the beginning? That was crazy good. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah, I didn't even die a single time. I didn't <laughs> I mean we were playing on normal, so it wasn't very hard anyway, but yeah. Uh that is way better than I expected. Like a genuine I love how I mean I'm assuming there I got apparently got the best ending, so that's why uh it, it was such a like a proper end there uh but i mean if you click no there you're obviously gonna get something sad which we will by the way uh we will click no in a moment here so there's three endings people said is there three or four endings how many different endings are there i don't know why it's a b grade i guess i saved too many times or maybe it has to do with the difficulty um so yeah just a quick quick review uh before we hop into the other endings the game was like 90% absolutely phenomenal. I love the enemies. Uh, I wish they would have done a little more with the unfriendly neighborhood. Like, I felt like that was just kind of random at the end. We literally spent like 10 minutes in the unfriendly neighborhood and that was it. Like, I would have loved to see uh, like maybe a 30 minute to an hour section where it was just absolutely cursed. Uh, like with, with faceless uh like uh, monsters that are just like completely terrifying randomly that would have been that would have been cool like and there was yeah there was only like two boss fights but I, I didn't really feel like this game needed boss fights like then it becomes like too close to like resident evil or something where it's just like all boss fights i don't really care for boss fights much um the progression was really cool uh, there weren't many upgrades, but there was a lot of loot to the point that I obviously had far too much loot, but I was also playing on normal, so maybe that's why we had so much loot. Uh, I really like the tape system. I think the tape system is a clever trick to make sure that you don't have to make each enemy, like, too tanky. Because if you... Like, it would have been really weird in a game like this if you could just shoot your way through and then all the enemies are... Or all the, like, puppets are dead and they, like, never come back. But, but because you could tape them up, you could like make an area safe yet you would still have the constant presence of these like talking puppets which the talking puppets by the way absolutely genius like it was a little overstimulating and over uh, <laughs> like uh, a little too crazy sometimes but in like a good way where there was just like constantly noise and like it really hammered home like the the weird sesame street nature of this place and how uh, it didn't become very clear why they went crazy there's four endings total Saying no, leaving after exiting the... Wait, you can leave after exiting the offices? Saying yes, and saying yes when you have helped the pup... Oh, if you help everyone and you say yes, you get the best ending. If you say yes when you don't have helped everyone, you get like a, mid, uh, a mid ending. And if you say no, you get a specific ending. Okay, interesting. Um, so there was... So like almost everything is like phenomenal there was that one section where it was really backtracky where you had to go through all the areas to like uh open all the triangle keys that was my least favorite part just because i'm not a big fan of uh, backtracking and that was like the only section besides that it was like always just moving forwards there was um like obviously the video here isn't you can you can tell by how long the video is that you're watching that you didn't see all of it because a lot of the backtracking like when I, I at this point i've already edited mo edited most of the video because i edited the first part of the or of yesterday's stream uh this this afternoon uh, and i can tell that the edit made it look uh even more fun than it already was to play because i could cut out all the backtracking uh so yeah great game but now before we end obviously let's uh load our save file and uh, I know we can't, we got speed remote, free camo, tiny Gordon, veteran difficulty, long arms cheat, jointless ragdolls, jointless ragdolls, chipmunk voices. 
Different bullets, slow mo, mega wrench. I got so many cheats. What are these damn cheats, dude? How many of the cheats did I get? Oh, there's still so many cheats left to get. What the hell? Uh, but I don't think we can just reload this specific save file. Wait, can we? No, this one is clear. This file has been finished. However, I was very clever to take a backup right before I did this. So let's quickly reload that. Uh, hopefully it'll work. I don't know if it'll work. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's try this. I took all the bombs this time. <laughs> let's see if we can just one shot this boss. <laughs> Oh man, that was a whole different boss fight. <laughs> Lol, <laughs> absolutely destroyed. So now we're gonna say no this time. So I'm sorry, Ricky, but we're just doing this to see the other ending. I apologize. Sorry, Ricky. I just don't think that's a good idea. Gordon, please. Everyone's counting on it. It's my final answer, Ricky. It was bad, man. Fine. Be that way. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to go, Gordon. Adios. Adios. Hope you have a nice life as a bitter old man. Who would ever say no? <laughs> so fucked up. Oh, what? I'm getting. I get back control. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, is this my truck? Enter truck. That is a massive ass truck. What now? Oh, here we go. Leave. So apparently you could have also left. Got that in the war. Last time I stick my neck out for someone. Um, you could also just have left after going out through the office section. You could have just left. That feels so random, but okay. Here we go. That's another ending. Now what? Are they gonna have like a monologue at the end here? Oh. After I got back to the office, my boss told me that everyone was really happy with what I did. Even though the puppets messed up another night's news. I got promoted to manager. Got an office with a window. But for some reason, I can't stop thinking about the neighborhood. It was bad. For the next few months, I actually started watching the nightly news. Don't know why. With a window? Maybe I just wanted to see if something happened. But nothing happened. And at some point, I got distracted and forgot about it. That's it? <laughs> just sad music now with the ending? Or is there still going to be happy music? <laughs> Are the credits just going to be... <laughs> for Elisa's sad piano music. Nope, there you go. Still happy music. So that is the the selfish ending. Uh, is this a different song or it's the same song? Are they gonna start singing or not? No, they still sing. Alrighty. Um, wait, I did this faster that time. Just under an hour, just under four hours. So yeah, that is the selfish ending. And then so the other two endings, which. Um, we got the best ending on our first try, which is really cool. And I felt like we were doing pretty well. Like, obviously, doing all those quests for every single one of the, uh, of the monsters, uh, like, was leading up to something, and it led up to the good ending. If you leave right after getting out of the office, it's probably just gonna be like, bye, I'm gone. Let's just look them up. I wanna see them. Now, now that we're, we've gone this far, let's just look them up. Okay. Here? Come on. Won't you be? So I think this ending right here. So this is the ending if you say yes when you have not helped everyone. Won't so let's see what's going to happen then. Is it how different? This is actually going to be interesting. Fine. So we still say yes. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Gordon, I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here though. Well, we'll talk about that. This is oh, still the same. Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams i must go tell the others at once tomorrow night then uh, no 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 it's no. decided tomorrow night okay so this is still the same but then how is the final cutscene going to be different We're done this time <laughs> let's see i helped the neighbors get a slot on public access tv it was late night on weekdays i don't think anyone watched seems it. the same within a couple of weeks though wait this is was starting wait, what 
This is the exact same. Is it not the same? Get out. Some people love the show. Oh, they don't have glasses on this one. She doesn't have glasses. Wait a minute. It's not the exact same. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. At that point, I figured I had done my part. So I stopped showing up at the studio. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show. But for some reason, it keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, I catch myself staring out the window. Wondering what's happening in the neighborhood. Ah, okay, so it's slightly more melancholic, but still good, still happy. Okay, so this is this is the bad ending when you say no. We already saw that one. Okay, so that one was slightly sadder because they didn't he didn't have like a connection to the puppets, so he didn't like end up staying and really connecting with them. Interesting. But now, what is the other ending where you just like leave right away? Here, this, this is the secret ending. This is what I was most curious about. So this is the secret ending. When you leave early, okay. How is that gonna work? You just take your you take your truck and you just go after you haven't even done your job? What? You know, I could just leave now. Could you? <laughs> you can't just leave now, way what? Excuse me. Most realistic ending. And that's it. That's that's it. Oh, okay, here we go. The next day, I got called into the office because the network wasn't happy. Wanted to know why I hadn't finished the job. After a big long fight, I got fired. I'm fine with that. I'd rather be unemployed than have to go back there. Okay. For the next few months, I actually started watching the nightly news. I don't know why. Maybe I just wanted to see what happened. But. Nothing happened. Okay. And at some point, I got distracted and forgot about it. This is still similar to the no ending. All right. Okay. Cool. So I'm very glad the way we went. That was that was fun. Uh, I'm glad that we also quickly saw the other ending. So yeah. Uh, there was uh, the true ending, which we got first try. Uh, then there's the like somewhat okay ending where you go to the, you still have the movie theater, you help them, but then you leave after a while. Uh, and then there's the no ending, which is just kind of sad, but you also get promoted to manager. And then there's the leave early ending, which just seems kind of random. <laughs> um, but yeah, a very cool game. Like, as I already said, I like this more than Resident Evil, just because... Um, I really liked how streamlined and polished everything was. Like, there wasn't much backtracking, uh, like, not- There was some backtracking, but not nearly as much as you expect in games like this. Um, there wasn't that many RPG elements. I think I really liked how few RPG elements there were, and how everything was just- You get the- the- the gun, you get the shotgun, and you get a bomb. And that's it. And you're not, like, juggling three different pistols, seven different shotguns, a uh, minigun, a rocket launcher with this tiny ass inventory so you feel like you're always not playing optimal like i really liked in this game how you felt at every moment i'm playing optimal right now i'm carrying around all the weapons i have more more than enough ammo for all my weapons i have enough inventory slots to drag around all the key items that i need so yeah that that, that actually made my enjoyment th that is more my style i can see other people like how they can upgrade 17 different guns in resident evil it's just too much for me it's too many rpg elements uh it, it probably makes it more replayable to have stuff like that but i just really love this as a first uh playthrough experience so yeah one of my favorite horror games of the year for sure uh and I, i'm glad you guys all recommended it to me so thank you guys for recommending it uh, and I hope you enjoyed my playthrough. I had a great time. Oh my god, so many cheats. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely games here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.